to open the uh, PRNG joint meeting with the council today, February 22nd. I showed the time at 9.06. Um, I believe we have full quorum here. Um, which oh, I'm, in, I'm in the corner. Hi, Kimberly. She said um, a bad word in class. <laughs> <laughs> where's, 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 her, where's her hat? Where's her hat? Does have to wear a hat? Anyways, that's your full quorum. Uh, so thank you for being here. And then I'll give it a turn over to John to open his. And I'd like to open the uh, Village of Marvin PRG board joint meeting with uh, council here on Tuesday. February 22nd at 9.06 a.m. I do determine we have a quorum with myself, uh, Bob Nunnenkamp, and Christina Culp here, uh, as well as our council liaison, Kimberly Vandenberg. Awesome. Okay, so uh, is that our agenda? Yeah, you want to make, I'll make a motion to allow Bob to participate remotely. All right, all in favor? Aye. Uh, all right, motion passes. Um, Next up, we have a uh, adoption of the agenda. Do we have any additions, or we really should only be reduced, uh, removing? But I think they're all good. As presented, I'll need a motion for that. I move to adopt the agenda as written. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Do I have to do it as well? Or it's gone? Yeah. Um, as far as the PRG board, uh, do I hear a motion on the table to adopt the agenda as written? So moved. So, <laughs> so All in favor say aye. 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 That's our name. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Uh, first up, we have um, uh, items of discussion. Discussion of 2022 Marvin Day celebration, Saturday, May 21st, 2022. This is gonna who's, who's okay. uh, I think Kristen will take us. Take it off. Gonna be coming in in just a second. I told him I'd go ahead and start everything up. Um, the big packet turned in front of you. This is kind of our, our Bible for this event. Um, I want to thank Jill for updating the sheets and making it a little bit more readable for us. Um, so we're just really gonna go down in the middle of this and start with the sheets. And if there's any changes that need to be made, uh, we can comment on those sub events as we get to that sheet. This is an overview of the budget. This is basically what we need, $30,000. We've received commitments of $24,000. I think there's an actual spreadsheet in here somewhere that talks about money received. Are you, do you have that with you? Is it the good? sponsorships? Yes. It's in the packet. Okay. So we'll get to that, the sponsorship sheet whenever we get to that particular one. Just so y'all know. All right. The next one is the food truck volunteer assignment schedule. It's on the back of that page. So I, I do know that this has been um, one of the big discussion items, so we want to spend some time looking over this, making sure that it's correct. And I'll let y'all look over it and see if y'all have any questions or issues with how we've got it laid out. Coffee truck at the park from 9 to 11.30 first at elementary school. This, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I didn't even see that. What is Nor'east trees? What is that? They're awesome. They're really good. Shows everything. Really good, really, really good food truck. Just, they're awesome. Shut your mouth and let it go. Come on. <laughs> Didn't say that part. Oh. She thought it. <laughs> okay. they, they, all, they all do. They, they do get really good reviews and nice, <laughs> nice long lines. And a lot of people know about them. Not well, what are they? Um, <laughs> it's just regular food like burgers. She's bringing it today. Oh, burgers. Hot dogs. Yeah, well, when it says Nor'east, I, I thought it was I, I thought a little flair, yeah. like an Asian Thai cuisine that I was going to be enjoying. Oh, that Nor'east. Asian pie or something. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't Joe, we have the menu seafood. in one of our last meetings. You may not have it. Yeah, it's in there. I'll see if I can find it and I'll pass it down to you. Is that I love that. I got that from that student. <laughs> um, I've only received one um, 1099, and that was for the ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, that's the only one I've received so far. So you have to receive a 1099. Yeah. So I can pay them. I think I just received the contact information. If you don't pay them. Last night. 
So, um, logistics though, are y'all okay with the placements, the times, the locations, um, as you see here? Taco Jerk Pizza Jerk Kids Fair. The Kids Fair, is that the, is that the cotton Fair candy? Food. Perfect. Food, food, food. Got it. Love it. That's good. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a great layout. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Um, Jamie, hold your thought. Jamie, um, Faze, hold your thought on the um, ten and nines. We'll get to that when we get to that sheet. Yes, ma'am. Log logistics, though, everybody's good with that. Yeah. No changes. Nope. Just uh, one thing about Northeast. I just looked them up just to make sure they have they have burgers, but it's not like fair. You know, it's like upscale a little bit. Like they do some maple bacon things with eggs and stuff and weird and. Okay. Know, so so it's, it's just to be clear, it's the same taco truck. They're just moving. Yep. Okay. Yeah, um, I think when we talked about it, the intent was to kind of have them at these satellite locations through the day, and then all of them converge. You know, when we get to the to the stadium later <coughs> in the afternoon, end of the evening. Do we have a, a name for the taco truck? Do we know which one it is? The only reason I'm asking because I know truck. my you know, guy that the, the, really the car show he has. They've done a taco he, truck, and I think it may be the same one, but I can't. I, I, it, we knew that when we had the last meeting, so Derek, 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 actually, it's Dan, Dan, Dan's, well, Dan's the one that has been heading up the She lives the, uh, in my neighborhood. She's so good. We but we've been trying yeah, to, to cross-pollinate that. International. Chris Chris I, felt, I felt like you were right. Oh, this one. We should have done this. What's going to determine whether we have the ice cream truck? at 4 p.m. over at Morgan High School, and you got a question mark by it. The 3 to 7 at the high school. Oh, I honestly have no clue why that question mark is there. Do y'all want it there from 3 to 4? 3 to 7? I'm sorry. 3 to 7. Um, Wasn't that a debate between the, we had two different ice cream trucks? No, so we, it was the Nori Streets and the pizza place. They do ice cream, I think, and they didn't want the competition. No, no, no. It was the real estate company that handed out free oh, ice cream. That's right. Um, and I, so I don't know where they're at because they just went radio silent. I mean, he's a good friend, so I'll, I'll have to. I, She's I, emailed me. She has. Yes. Okay. All right. But, yeah. but do y'all want the ice cream truck at the Marvin High School from 3 to 7? Yeah. But we that, that, could, that could be the, the one that's free. And yeah. then it doesn't compete with the uh, nor'easter that's there. To, well, it does. It, it will compete. Because yeah. It's free. That, well, and that's that's part of the conversation, and maybe we didn't understand it as clearly. I think when we were debating this the the last time, there was some concern about the ice cream truck because someone had said one of the other vendors didn't Correct. want them there. That's what Dan said. But that would be selling. Now. Um, what, we, what we didn't know is this, I don't know if that hesitation is because they were being giving out free, you know. What earlier. about the um, ice cream truck at the barn, the one that hands out the free ones, because there will be a lot of kids there? Yeah, it's the same, that same, that would be it's the same truck. It's the same truck, we're, we're just moving locations. Yeah, we're not having Joe's. Well, okay, so, so do y'all want what the, is everybody in agreement that the Marvin we're not having those free? Uh uh. Well, I mean, we've already done this. Hold we're on gonna... a second. Just we we talked about moving them to um, our grand opening for the village hall and saying, hey, will you okay, we'll okay. consider you as a silver sponsor? Five hundred dollars in kind <clears throat> donation, five hundred in cash, and then instead of being there physically. Um, at Marvin Day, they would be there for the grand opening passing out okay. ice cream. If whenever we decide that day is, I think that's what we kind of talked about with her. But that's okay. when it went radio silent. Okay. That, so well, I can reach out to her. Just okay. Let, you let me know. Yeah, because we'll she did say, "Well, we got to we got to think about that because their whole business model is <clears throat> meeting people and, and they want to hand out. They want to hand out. They want to talk to people. It's real estate. Well, they can okay. they can so, have table set up at the high school and just have their information. <clears throat> Yeah, but they want to, the, the whole thing is, is like, what is their giveaway? That's most They still wanted tents. to be a sponsor, and so that's why we had worked out 500 and 500. Right. Okay. So, do y'all want an ice cream truck at Marvin High School? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, well, no, yes. I thought we were going to have the one that Bob had. 
I, I thought it was the same ice cream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah, it's, it's, it's just the bar in the morning and it's going to move. Yeah, yeah. it's just going to move. Okay, and then they have one ice cream truck, that's, that's it. it. That Correct. No they're going to give out the free, so many free freebies, right? They're going to give out two, okay. 200 free. Okay. And the old invoice says at the end of the thing for $600 if, they're, if they leave at five, if they leave at seven, they leave at six. Well, and, and, so, and so we can still make the choice that they, they'll, even though they give us 200 free, we don't necessarily have to give them out. Correct. So, so, no, no, so, I'm, so I'm, I'm confused here. Yeah. So we're actually, regardless, we're writing them a check? Yeah, for $600. If, if, they don't, if they don't make that. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's different. We're going to have that's to have different. a guarantee, guys. Right, right, right. right. No, no, I get money. that. But that, get that's, that. That's, we write them that, and if they make that <laughs> 600 then we get that back. Correct. Is that on the budget? Well, so, hey, guys, say, hey. Well, no, we would get it by charging for the ice cream. Ice cream. The 200 They're going to do 200 free ice cream. So, if we choose not to do 200 free ice cream okay. at 300 a piece, we, okay. we would recruit our money. We have yeah. no free ice cream for them, free ice cream for us, for the village. <laughs> no, I mean, like, we get 200 free, but we And then we cover our $600. Yeah. So, so, yeah. 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 so, just to be clear, because what... My car guy says, "Is you know we're we're on the hook for whatever it is." He's saying, "No, nah, I, I don't do that. They, they come because they know we're going to bring in the people, and they're just rolling the dice. So we're at no risk from the Marvin Ridge Band when he did this car show." Yeah, but those so, are all the your people. This is somebody. I, I understand that. I understand, but I just want to make it clear: is regardless if, if they make their not if six hundred dollars of sales. Then we don't owe them a dime. Um, but if we are paying them regardless, six hundred dollars plus, on top of that, they're getting the sales. That's different than having a truck that's going to hand out. Why wouldn't we hand out a, or have a truck that would hand out five hundred dollars worth of free ice cream? So can I just interrupt real fast? This is merely just the schedule for right now. We're going to go over the numbers right. okay. at, at, a, at a later time in this meeting. So if we can just hold those thoughts. So we can move on if y'all don't mind. That'd be awesome. Okay. Go with that. Okay. Um, tentative all day schedule. If y'all can look at the next page, this kind of is an overview of where everything is transpiring at what time. We want to take a second and look over this. Health fair at Marvin Elementary for the morning time. Garden tours at the park mid morning, as well as art display, <coughs> Raptor Center. And car show. I don't see, um, we'll need to add that on here. Joe just asked, we need to add the 5K on here. Oh, okay. Um, and what time we're going to start that, I think we need to, we can check with Derek. I know he had a meeting with her when we get to that page at the health fair. Okay. I, I also don't see the, the pony rides on here, which would be at the park. It's um, at 12 o'clock. It says disc golf clinic and pony rides. Oh, okay. So That's a, a separate column from the decline. Yeah. Okay. Does everybody else see their own individual sub events? Where's that? Oh, okay. Our is not on here anywhere. Okay. This is What's not on there? Fire thorn. Okay. What time are, are they doing there at the house? I think... That was the meet and greet. Oh, that's a yeah, their village nice. hall. Okay. So we'll add Firethorn, yeah. and then we'll add the five K. When there. is Firethorn? Nine thirty to twelve. Then there, that's at the pool <clears throat> clubhouse, so the pool complex. And then they're going to set up a table from five to six at the high school, no, and they will be there. Can you tell me the hours again, please? Nine thirty to twelve. It's on the page. Okay. It's on the back. Um, what are you yeah, confused about? Where are you? Help you? I agree with that. Where are you? Yeah. Do you need help? No, I don't need help. I'm, I'm a little confused. I, mean, I, I thought for the art, the setup was 7 to 8 or 6 to 8. And then they could go. They wouldn't start at this point in order be at their booth until 9. We'll, we'll just put under setup right there. Okay. We'll put 6 to 8 a.m. Okay. under setup. Right. Okay, I'm, I made a note for that door in here. Park setup, 6 to 8 a.m. under, this is the art setup, so we just need to add that. So just move it up an hour from 7 a.m. to 6? No, yeah, 6 a.m., 6 to 8 a.m. is the art setup at the barn. And then 9 a.m. is when they would actually start. 9 a.m. that's what it says there, yeah. 9 a.m. to 2, yeah, they can be at their booths. Yeah. 
So, so six to nine is well, really set up, and if you're not that was six to eight is set up, and then she'll be at their booths starting um, at nine. Is when so, so now Jill, that. Jill, and Jamie, if y'all look at the sheet on the back, these numbers are actually right. For some reason, it wasn't updated here. So we just need to update it. So. If I, if I could add something that shouldn't affect anybody, um, I talked to Scott Kilborn, the pastor next door, and I'm trying to get them included from the church standpoint and how they were a part of Marvin. What I think they may end up doing is an open house, um, which won't affect us. It'll just, we'll, we will want to put it on the agenda. So at some point, if someone could contact Scott and say, okay. Uh, but there's also Robbie, who I spoke with as well, and said he also... And then on another note, I didn't forward you guys the, the email, but Gene Stowe is doing, um, he's trying to get funding for it, but so um, I think it's like $5,000, but for a walking or a self-guided tour of Marvin and all the different areas and stuff. So I don't know what that entails. He just sent me an email over the weekend saying that he's trying to um, get something like that for the community. Again, it shouldn't affect our need because that would be a self-guided tour uh, but it may be something we want to put on there if, if he he's able to raise Bay? the funds what is he doing that for marvin Bay? I, I think that's what why he sent that to me because me has been talking he hasn't mentioned that to me at all he okay. just sent me it late so i'll just um for that. i'll follow up I've got a follow and, and one question i have on the schedule the cedar hill exp exhibition we've got from three to four and I think we were thinking of doing that more four to five because we're going to try to focus that on getting people to the high school since they're going to park there. And it'll be a little cl closer to when the events start rather than people going to that and then not really having anything. And they're to good do. with changing that? Yeah, they're, okay. they're flexible. So, so four to five at I, Cedar I, I would say four to five and probably Okay, more. good. Does, we'll does make that edit. How many cars have signed up for the car show? Crystal. I mean, cars. I mean, cars. We have no idea until we get that day. Joe. Which one? We had mentioned maybe moving the car show from 10 to 2 to 11 to 3. Right. Did you mention that? Yeah, he has. He doesn't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think. Perfect. So let's change the car show from 11 to 3. I mean, obviously, they're going to get there early and set up. Yeah. Yeah, he goes. That actually makes it easier from a setup standpoint mm -hmm. from the high school and Perfect. not having to do stuff. So you know, early. Yeah. Okay. So okay. driving the the three Loving would the work. And even then, you might get some fall over from the car show to the equine that's, with a little space in between. I think yeah. that's a good amount of time too if people want to be at the five k. Oh, and yeah. even at the bar, and, and then yeah. they have time to shower and get yeah. there. That's yep. great. All right. Just so a real quick question. Uh, take down uh, the Raptor Center is going to be at the barn until three. I believe that's right. Three or four, depending on if there's a bird release, but we're not going to know that till the week before. Okay, can locate okay, either way. Yeah. Uh, the art display that part's over at two o'clock. Okay. Okay. That's fine. When is take down? So do they? When can they start taking down their exhibits? I mean, I think they can anytime. Any With time. the Raptor Center still doing everything. That's fine. They're just having a ta at that point. They're just going to have a table set up with information and games for the kids and stuff. So they may even wrap it up. If they don't have a bird release, right. they may wrap it up around two, depending on how many people are there. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Everybody good? Minus the. Um, Gene Stowe, 5K, and the church open house and Firethorn. Yeah, all that. <laughs> we edited okay. the car show. Yes. Yep. Car show 11 to 3, Cedar Hill 4 to 5. And then Firethorn 930 to 12. 930 to 12. We're doing setup for the art from 6 to 8 a.m. The art display is 9 to 2. Correct. Okay. And then the other changes that Christina said. Okay. All right, we're moving on to the next page. This is just really an internal sheet for us for signage that's needed um, at all of these different places. So we'll have yard signs at the um, Marvin Elementary letting them know about the health fair. I'm sorry, no, we'll have a banner there. We'll have yard signs at the park for the garden tours, nature tours. And that's really just a sign that says garden tour this way, pony rides this way. We're going to need to the fire for them. Okay, we'll add that. And didn't we discuss about adding a banner out front here? 
Um, we did at some point. Um, do y'all want a banner out front? I don't want a banner out front here. I hope we're not well, here. Well, I, I meant, mean, um, <laughs> well, no, like once we move to the other place, oh, like okay. to put one up. So, and like, yes. we'll also have the digital okay. screens that we say, like yes. Marvin Day coming. But I thought about hanging one of the big ones, like Marvin Day, this date. Yeah. Like a huge banner out front, yeah. like we do for like, yes. I mean, large we're stuff. Have, we're yeah. gonna have, well, <laughs> we may not have the right our trailer, but in. Yeah. If you guys want directional signs on Waxhaw Marvin Road, I'll be glad to volunteer my front yard to help people get around. Awesome, thank you. Oh, it's such a giver, Andy. Fire oh, Thorn Banner. I don't care what they say about you. I'm on the park in your yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing close. The, the rental yard, not, not on my main yard. <laughs> you can walk to the equine center. Yeah, but um, yeah, you can down all the sidewalks. You can use my yard for signage or sidewalks, the directional Great. signage or whatever that'll help people get around. Are there any other yard signs that y'all feel like is needed? Uh, the the only thing balloons. that I would say is that oh, yes. um, we balloons. need balloons. Balloons. Yes. I did say balloons. I said balloons yes. two meetings ago. Yeah, you I did. Talked about if, it. if we're doing the equine and having them park, I don't know if we'll need any directional signs to get them to where we. We might have an officer crossing the street there, you know, just to get them back and forth safely. So you said you don't need something you do. I said I don't know if we do or not. You know, if, if, we, if we're in the state, they're not, that, well, I, I don't know if we're going to have the stadium open at that point, you know. So are they going to have to walk around the stadium? Yeah, probably. They're parking at the high school. They're going to have to Correct. walk down that. Yeah. Yeah, there's unless they go outside uh, yeah, the fence along the buses crane. go. Yeah. No, not along crane where, where the buses, buses go. go. And I'm yeah. just saying from a safer yeah. pathway. Yeah, all, all, although the driveway is there. right there at the light too. Where, right. So the right. corner of crane and Waxhaw Marvin. Yeah. Do you think a couple like maybe up crane and then up Waxhaw Marvin and then at the corner kind of like what do you want those to say? Are they just arrows or anything? Uh, just just arrows, you know. Cedar um, Hill Farm. I would say Cedar Hill Cedar Farm. Cedar Hill Farm or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Equestrian show maybe. Yeah, and then we're gonna need one in front of the church if they do an open house. Okay. Are you putting anything at the park? A sign, a banner, probably out front. Because every no, day no. somebody tells me they don't know where that is. Every day. Right. Get the sign up. It's going right, Bob. It is. As soon as we get the wood. <laughs> Good luck getting wood. Yeah, the seat so is then, backwards. So at the park, we currently have garden tour, and these are yard signs, directional yard signs: garden tour, nature walk, pony rides, art display, raptor center, disc golf. Yep. Those are the signs that are at the park. Is that what you're? I'm, I'm talking about? about like a banner that says Marvin, a, like yeah. a big Marvin Day kind and of. So. We, need, we need one at the park. We need one in front of Village Hall, just advertising it. And I say we throw one up in Andy's yard. Mm -hmm. So three large I mean, banners like, like this, like like, like, a, like at yeah. the beginning of May. We, Marvin Day. We put a banner in my yard for something, something else. Something else, yeah. At, so but, three listen, large like banners. There's, four, there's four. also having you one at the corner. Stuff. Of, um, on the sheet. I don't know if we control so, that corner, but at the corner of the high school for a banner was always a good place when when we used to yeah. use it. Well, I, I think we'll probably need to ask we, the high school because when we put signs up for the election, they kept getting taken down. Yeah. So we, we, we don't need any yeah. temporary use the blood drives, do we? No. for any of They're bringing all their own signage? No. Okay, so it's just sure. banner at no. the high school. <laughs> it's not for me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That that may be something we we do need temporary use permits for our but signs. but may I suggest and uh, I don't know if we can do it because of DOT uh, but you ever see when you go through a town it is actually goes the banner actually crosses the whole street and you're hitting it from both sides Marvin Day it's just like boom in your face that everyone anyone that drives on Newtown so I'm I'm looking at this post right here thinking wow it'd be great if they had two posts on yeah, opposite it needs, sides it, it can't be parallel to the, the road it needs to be perpendicular well, to the road the problem just to keep it going across the dollars no. those, i know what he's talking about but i'm saying so you know, you're getting that's why we were doing them like this when our just here that's it those are not city those are the safest we have to get that's okay, why well, you can buy that's what that's moving on to the next sheet yep all right now maybe down the Moving yeah, on to the next sheet is the health fair. Oh, do you have any updates yeah. on the health fair? Tables and holes um, between the traffic circles for that purpose. I do. Ooh, do the traffic circles would be a good spot I, for some signs. I don't know if we can do it. I'll ask. <coughs> I, 
going to say no? By the time we'll That's say, you know I'm what, saying. we'll get to them. We'll get those down. <laughs> Don't worry about it. As soon as possible. <laughs> Sunday. I mean, we put campaign signs all over the traffic <laughs> circles. Nobody complained about it. So why not put yard there's, signs There's around. other statutes for political signs. I know, but who's really, I mean, is DOT driving down the road being like, ooh. Yeah. And who's calling us in? And then we'll say, okay, we'll get to it. Never. Just like Jamie said, we'll get we'll get to it. As soon as you get my roundabout done, I'll oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Jamie. Right. Uh, do you have any yeah, agree. The health fair? No, I just wanted um, to let everyone Sorry. know that the um, One Blood, they're going to do all kinds of marketing leading up to the event. They're going to send out email blasts, have sign-ups. Um, they're really excited. Um, they think they're going to have a really big turnout, and I think they will too. They're great. They bring snacks and drinks, and um, everyone can That's get a t-shirt. No, it's at the elementary school. And they're going to have all their own signage that they'll set up, and they do all their own marketing, which is great. And um, They literally will call people to yes, show up. Yes, yeah, they will. They I'm so excited them. for them. They do a great job. Um, I do think we need an update from Derek about where we're at with the 5K. And I think we were going to decide, I think we need, is he on the phone? Yes. Yeah, so the ne the is there, the are there any other questions on the page of health fair? I, I have a, the blood drive, Jamie. Are they just bringing yeah. one bus? One big old bus. Okay. Yes. Are they going to have sign-ups or are they going to let people walk in? Both. Okay. So they do the sign-up to see how many people are going to come. And then they allow walk-ins, walk, walk -ins, and they will stay later if they need to. If not, they'll probably leave by noon. But he said if there's still people, they'll keep it open. Okay. And they're going to they're gonna start at 7? So they don't usually start at 7. They're going to arrive at 7. I know it's going to be a little complicated. We're just going to have to, like, tape out with tape on the ground, like, where the bus is going to go. And... Um, they're gonna roll in at like 7:45. They're gonna start at eight. Okay, and that's fine because I mean again, I think we can put them rolling. in the bus lot, like where the actual bus is parked, yes. and we'll just have like a reserve spot for them. Yes, okay. that's perfect. And, and so he's gonna like walk the area first and first get their signage put up and all that. Perfect. Yep. Right. Thanks for that suggestion. Oh, they're awesome. Good. Okay. Yeah. They're really good. So I noticed on the bottom of the sheet it says twelve hundred dollars question mark. Is that is this for the health fair or is it for the five k? The, the dollar amount is down here. Where is that? I think that's right here. Oh. Well, it says sound system. Because we don't have a budget that carries over to this front page. Not for yet. The health fair or the 5K, so we need to know. I think that was for the 5K, but it has okay, to be so moved to its own tab that we just created. Okay, so is there any financial need from the blood folks? Uh, there's no financial need at all. Okay, so then the next subsection of this health fair is the 5k mm -hmm. perfect timing Derek um, well we have the rental or we're not paying for the elementary <clears throat> school correct uh, Allison do you remember I haven't been dealing with that I've been dealing with the high school the high school emergency. no elementary mm -hmm. school no okay. uh, not that we know of as of now okay so perfect. what is this information down here at the bottom that talks about pricing slash fee what is that does that need to be removed because it's a little confusing I think it, it looks to me, it reads to me that, that that's kind of what their standards are, what their what their regular thing is, but it's not during school hours, it's not during after hours, it's... But this, what are these charges for? Right. So all that stuff is... Yeah, like I think it was just, yeah. Okay, this is for the fun run company. That's for a booster okay. who's going to do the fun run. So it can be uh, taken off of this page and moved to the next because it's already on the next page as well. <laughs> um, Derek, question. Yeah. We're, we're doing a 5K, right? Not a fun run? Or we're doing a fun run and a 5K? Both. Okay. Yeah, 5K and fun run. And then, okay. Can you just update us on this? Because yep. we need to fill this in. So that's crossed off. All right, so I'm, I'm working on getting like a finalized quote from the booster company but as i mentioned before um, you've seen them at the schools set up with the red and white and blue <coughs> banners it's the company they, they fundraise for the kids to run the laps so they're going to bring their music and their um, sound equipment and have like an inflatable obstacle course and they're going to do the 
you know, get everybody hype and welcome to Marvin Day um, and just be the high energy. And then they'll organize, they'll lead the fun run, um, you know, just a one mile kind of out and back type of deal. Um, so he, he gave me some itemized prices, but it wasn't very clear. So I just threw them on there as a rough estimate of 1200 I don't think it's going to be that much. Um, Do you have a time for that? Yeah. <laughs> 8.30. You? Um, it's usually, at 8.30? Yeah. All the, five, all the races I've been to is the 5K starts at 8, and then the fun run is like at 8.30. It gives people time to do their 5K and then come back, and then if they want to run with their kids or, you know, do the one mile as a cool down or whatever. That's so, a good idea. That's Okay. Yeah, I'm not running out 5K in 30 minutes, though. So, <laughs> Derek, when you, when, you yeah. when you talk to these people, I know that's when we used to have that at the elementary school, Kim, I don't know if you remember our kids. It was really, they took a 50% cut in whatever they yeah. raised because they would encourage kids to raise money per mile that, or lap that they did and fit like some crazy number went to them is this that kind of setup no no because we're because okay. they're because we're not raising money yeah i it's just, just want to be just clear be that they're not expecting anything like that that they're, no, they're just getting taking a, a cut okay yeah, well, you tested me the times just follow. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> and they, they they map out the the trail, or is that something you're doing? Hang on, that's the that's the five k. This is just the fun oh, okay. run people. Fun the five k people do do. This. Oh, there's two. It's two separate. Two separate. Okay. That's what was confusing. Okay, let Derek finish. Separate. He'll he'll answer all your questions, Joe. I bet. Yeah. All right. So I had a conference call with. Are any questions on the fun run? Is, is there any dollar run? amount that's needed for that? Twelve hundred dollars, roughly. Okay. And he will get he will get those finalized numbers soon. You can see it. You don't see, you, you can see the dummy sitting on the leg when they talk. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look how good I she is. I have to translate. <laughs> I have to translate. He said it. First, translating for everybody. Right, She's being scared. <laughs> All right. So the five K is obviously it's a giant animal. Um, Jamie got me in contact with a company, a local company who does a lot of big races. So we got two options we need to decide. Pay them for everything $6,500. <coughs> Full package. Like we just write the check and they do everything. Timing package, pack up, pick up, course services, marketing. <coughs> they set up the registration. Um, then we, our costs are. On top of that are three dollar per registrant, fifty cent for a bib, and then your calls for t-shirts. Medical, um, they suggested getting an EMT, um, getting race insurance for about two hundred bucks, and then awards. So I haven't done all the numbers, uh, but we could, you know, probably be in like eight, eight or nine grand before we get back in your registration. Do they sing too? <laughs> Derek, is that 6500 plus we have to buy the EMT? Plus, plus. The awards? Plus, oh, okay. plus, plus. Now, we can cut that down no, a little bit. bit. <laughs> we do, we got to have the timing package, right? That's, that's the main thing everybody wants is to know their time. So that's $1,500 plus $3 per registrant. And then they'll handle the packet, packet pickup for 500 um, we could probably cut out two grand for course services um, but that means that we're mapping the course um, we're setting up water stations we're putting out flaggers and directing people um, and then i don't know that we really need marketing because we're already doing marketing so that and that so that's 500 so we could potentially cut out 2500 but that's a lot of extra added work on top of staff on onto staff on top of all the work you know that we already have and then recruiting a bunch of volunteers um, could it be done yes you know I could go to the high school and ask the football team to you know send me a bunch of kids and flaggers or one of our church groups who needs to volunteer um, yeah scouts would be a good one I can too. put you in touch with the person who runs the 5k for the heritage trail we do everything but the timing 
everything we take care, yeah so the volunteers do everything else and it's a trail run so it's a little bit extra work yeah. to clear that but I can you can talk to her she's extremely organized so you could find out just she could probably tell you exactly how much extra work it's going to be to do it yourself and then you can know whether it's worth it or not yeah. you know she's well, and council wanted it <clears throat> so I want to make it happen you know it is going to be a great draw no but you have the option of letting but the company do it versus letting other people do it that's what I'm saying she could tell you just how many people you're going to need to do all those other parts well right. and I'm just going to interject go ahead sorry no, go ahead. I'm just going to interject here and say <clears> that I'm, I'm really trying to take Derek away from management of any of the, the events and I feel a little hesitant adding that to his plate knowing that he's got all these other mm -hmm. subcategories to to manage and make sure they're set up properly and make sure we're doing this right. So ultimately, at the end of the day, if y'all want to do it, we'll make it happen. But I, I do feel uneasy about adding more to his plate on this day. I'm just Derek, can it. we repeat? I agree with her. <laughs> I, I, I agree with her too. I, I think we've never done this. We are not a 5K organizing company. That's a not lot of that, work. It's a lot. Of the 6,500 plus plus, do we have an opportunity to recoup some of those costs with a registration fee? Of course, yeah. I mean, okay. we max that thing so, out, and you know, we could we get all that back. So, um, so the registration the, fees come back to us. What is the registration that? fee? Okay. What does it need to be to be able to recover eight or nine thousand dollars in expenditures? I'm not. I'm not sure we need to recover all of it. But well, but I mean, what's what a typical registration fee for a 5K? I don't run 5K. Yeah, I don't know. That's 30 25, bucks. 30. Yeah, well, ours is 20 or 25. Yeah. And then it changes as you get closer yeah, to the race. Gotta, it goes up. Got an early race. Yes. Well, yeah. How many runners do you get? Yeah. We get uh, probably maybe a thousand. Or yeah, we probably get less than that because it's a trail run yeah. in Monroe. And you got to take yeah. the cost of the T-shirts so, that you're giving them. Exactly. Out. So, hypothetically, just twenty to thirty thousand dollars revenue. So we can get five hundred runners, let's say. It's two hundred runners. We get twenty bucks in pop, right? Ten thousand dollars. So you got twenty four, sheep. Yeah. So yeah, you, got, sheep, you know you got four thousand cost offset just if yeah. you only got two hundred runners. Yeah, and that's I well, like have more than you'll have, I think you'll have more than that here. Absolutely. But these groups have their own hit, um, list of uh, <clears throat> that they blast out saying, hey, this run is right. taking place. This and, and, and it's a new and, one, and it's in March. And, and, and yeah, to be clear, the only line. reason I think council was looking at pushing the whole five <clears throat> is because I don't think anybody's getting up at 8 o'clock to go get I'm blood going. or go to a health care so if you get people to run i mean they'll bring their families out okay. And, okay. and and again we're going to try and build on this every year so we'll get smarter better all those things and we'll learn a lot from this but once it's on the registration sites it goes out to anybody who runs anything and they'll get pinged for that too so, so people from all over the place. My, i mean my vote is just to <clears> them, <throat> let them do it let them, let them do it, it. it sounds we're like we're going to recover the money so for most of it or, or most so, of them, so it, it it should be i mean at 20 it'd be less than 6500 dollars that you yeah, got a lot right. we got one more idea before i cut you off okay um sponsor raisers do you think you could go after a sponsor specifically for that well what i was going to ask you was at least the five k's i'm familiar with most of them are cause related you know you know breast cancer leukemia ms or any nonprofit. we raise money from carolina waterfowl with ours i'm a nonprofit. Yeah, yeah. we're going to raise money for Bob Nodicast. So, so the question <laughs> is, the company that's putting the 5K together, mm -hmm. do they work with good. nonprofits? Do they have contact with nonprofits? Oh, yeah. They do everything. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people Joe come Cole. out and run because yeah. of the nonprofit. Sure. Yeah. Versus just coming out to run a 5K. Yeah, Joe had the idea of, you know, uh, reaching to the there was uh, Isabella uh, Santos people Isabel Santos see, and what they told me is they, go, they don't company. do it themselves they go to the company and that company takes care of it so it's the yeah. same thing but the funds a certain we could say a certain portion goes to the uh, park uh, park, the or park or whatever our I park mean, Right. Yeah, I mean that that would be a great yeah. fundraiser for new equipment. I mean, right. go. Why but, do you think of that? But real quick, I just said it. Oh, that's real quick. Quick. I just gave you Tara, real quick. <laughs> you mentioned a fairly high number, but I think I heard you say a fairly high amount for distributing the bibs and the t shirts. You said that was like twenty yeah. five hundred dollars? No. no yeah. Packet pickup is five hundred. Oh, five hundred. Yeah, we could potentially save twenty five hundred. Um, 
they have they have places they have set up the course. And, yeah, usually they set it up at like a hospital or somewhere that you go pick up during certain hours. And stuff. One of the running stores is where yeah. our so part of our store. Yeah, they did say they could do town hall, which I thought would be cool. Perfect. To have town hall on Friday. As long as it's open. open. You, <laughs> you mentioned the <laughs> shut the <laughs> one down. Did I say that? You did not <laughs> yes. Derek, you mentioned the eight or nine thousand dollars. The parking lot as like a premium thing. D does that include the water stations, the EMT? Yes. Not an EMT. <coughs> their, their, their full package is sixty five hundred dollars. Yes. Okay, that's everything. I'm, I'm <laughs> funny, in my head. I'm know. calculating the cost for the per registrant timing and the okay. shirt. Okay. Okay. So, all that. do is there a, a package that they have? We don't have to mess with that. No. I mean that. That's the sixty-five hundred dollar package. Okay. They're just they're going to take off, you know, three dollars okay. for every registry. Gotcha. Now water stations are we going to have to do that, or are they going to do it? They do that. They do that. Okay. So we can change the budget for around nine thousand dollars instead of sixty-five hundred. You feel comfortable with that number? I just, I need to do the math. Okay. Jill was great and helped me set up the spreadsheet, but I just haven't put numbers into it. We'll update that that list, but that, is everybody in agreement that we're yes. going to do the highest package yes. and yeah. let them handle everything? And, and yes. I mean, I would have like early registration. Obviously, the company is going to handle this, but I would have early registration and then like mid registration and then like late registration and have that late registration like. So here's what I need to know. Do we tell them I the amount? I just need to know that I give them the green light to yes. go ahead and yeah. roll. Up. And if, if we come down to the negative, we're. We're on the hook for yes. it. Yeah. Okay. Is cancel all in agreement Perfect. with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you get because, because right now, Christina, on this spreadsheet, like what we have committed, we're only five thousand dollars off, and didn't we put in five thousand dollars from Marvin? Mm -hmm. It's not. I think we put in, in here. 10. Okay, yeah. ten. Yeah. So it's not even in here. So we're okay. And we're gonna recoup some money. So we should be fine as long as we get the money that we've <coughs> sent is committed. Okay. Um. <coughs> well, it, she, this will give you some wiggle room to hopefully get them to do the fun run for free. No, no the fun run is totally different. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I think a race chancer will be great. You know, somebody who can Publix. Publix. Well, that's not the Publix. way that we put the packages out. So. I know. Well, I wasn't thinking about the, yeah. you know, the whole the 5K being such a huge cost. Well, I wrote a note, um, so we'll get to that question when we get to sponsorships, and I can make a decision on that. You know, but they have their own shirt. Like, you're going to get a race shirt, so that might be a draw that, like, your name is on the race shirt versus the Marvin Day you know, okay. logo. Um, uh, let's talk about that when we get to sponsorships. <coughs> okay. But we'll plan for nine to 10000 if y'all can finance folks can update that spreadsheet, and then Derek can confirm that number. To Good see job, Derek. Mm, Jamie did it. Good job, Jamie. All right, blood drive. We've already we've already gone over. Can we that. changed that to one blood instead of red cross. Yeah. Different company. Okay. Same blood, different company. Do we need to switch out? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um. <laughs> disc golf, passive play clinic. Derek, you want to brief us on that? And tell us where we're at. Uh, it's it's done. Okay. With custom custom discs cost us six hundred. This handouts, how many do we get? Uh fifty. Fifty? Yeah. For six hundred dollars? It's like eight or buck, eight or nine bucks a pop, I think. Is he serious? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're joking, right? For what? Can we charge more? Yeah. Huh? Wait, we We're only got charging. fifty? For six hundred dollars? Fifty what? Fifty what? I thought we got like six hundred discs for six hundred dollars. <coughs> like how much are discs? Can you start that like disc a, in there is a twelve to fifteen dollar retail. Kim, these are like stunning. normal discs. I don't know. I don't these think are plastic all. frisbees. Does your husband have a gun? There's going to be a clinic in May. You might want to make timber. Where is it? Does your husband play golf? There's a park. Yeah. Okay. How much does this club cost? And, the, and you have in this if, golf, you have you Derek, have a driver, you have if a club. If they were eight dollars a piece, you got seventy five. Oh, that might be. Okay. That's exactly. But I mean, I thought we were handing these out to people who came. Mm -hmm. Do, do y'all want to put more in? Cars? Not at six hundred dollars for seventy five. I mean, I thought we were gonna have like a boatload of these things. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> if y'all want to order more, just let us know. And we can order more. I think we'll also order less. <laughs> <laughs> so we're only giving out 75, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it. So okay. for first 75 participants. Yeah. And oh, they'll only nice. have one disc. It's the same disc. It's all a driver disc, I assume. Mm -hmm. He's got... Uh, uh, he's got there, I have a guy who years that owns a company down in Rock Hill. Sir? The guy that owns a company in Rock Hill that makes all <coughs> I haven't seen him in years, but can we go down and... That's, that's who they're coming from. Well, I mean, can we go down and ask him for some donations, or has he give those to us? Uh, yeah, we could see about... I mean, we just spent $9,500 with them. Well, I, for, uh, I mean, I would even put in a disc on there for them. Yeah. I mean... I mean, this would be good to advertise I mean, for him. What dog? And he's not that far away. I like spending money, but <laughs> 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 not on that. It is a little sparkly, though. Okay, okay, I'll see if I can get that down. <clears throat> get more. Okay. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they're putting they're putting the Marvin Day logo on it, right? Okay. Anything else yeah. on that? Yeah. That's not the Marvin Day logo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's coffee in that box right there. That might help. All right, so moving over to Christina, uh, Nature Walks and Park. Any updates on that? Um, we're going to start in the cottage gardens. We're going to do registration. Are we doing via Eventbrite? Is that what you guys use or something like that? So we can register people? Derek, I thought, no. were y'all handling that? Or? Yeah, so okay. we are going to do... Um, Put it to an online form instead of Eventbrite. Eventbrite costs money, but it, they also are, they can be a little bit clunky oh, to yeah. use, and they send you like a ticket because they're more used for like different types of events. Mm -hmm. This way here, they'll be able to register, pick a time from a drop down spot. Mm -hmm. um, I will get automatically like an Excel spreadsheet as people are registering, mm -hmm. so I'll know exactly how many people for each spot. I'll know when one is full. Uh, we'll probably do a little buffer because there's always some no shows. Absolutely. And then um, once the time slot ha is full, plus we got a little buffer, then we'll just remove that as an option on the drop down okay. menu and make them choose one of the later times. So, because I like to plan for grand success, if if we put that uh, registration out and it just gets <laughs> all the nature lovers show up and they and it just gets full really fast, I can probably find somebody else to do one right behind me like so we would have a two o'clock and a 215 kind of thing so we're just far enough apart that you can't hear each other or something like that so we're just going to walk the park and i'll do it a couple days ahead and find some stuff to look at there's always something to look at out there especially may it'll be great um so that is an option if it goes crazy i don't really expect that the target is 15 people yeah but i mean you know if 20 shows up how am i gonna i'm not gonna count heads or something you know so that's kind of the conversation derek and i had about these registration forms is that while i understand the idea behind them logistically sometimes the day of the event it does create a little bit more work because you know for instance you might just have like a slew of people show up because they see people gathering. Now you're talking about someone having to ask, "Oh, are you registered for this?" I one? probably you wouldn't care. The list. Yeah, yeah, because they're not paying for it. So my my thought there is to not to walking 50 people down a trail is a little bit. I'm loud, but I'm not that well, maybe. But so it's just hard to have that conversation. But I've been on nature walks that were like that, and you're in the back, you just figure it out for yourself, kind of thing. Yeah. I don't care. That that was more. Truly, the registration thing was more for me to know, do we need to, to market this more? So we get to the week before and nobody signed up, then we need to hit it hard and get people gotcha. don't, <clears throat> don't know it's even a thing to do, right? When, when do you want <clears throat> this to go, the registration to start? And, I think it could start. where do you want it? So that was my next question. How are we marketing this? <clears throat> We're going to have two marsh meetings uh, to the public before this event, so we will definitely talk about it then. Cool. Um, and we can put it on our website, I mean not our website, our uh, Facebook page, we can put it out on Nextdoor. Luckily our first Marsh Talk is actually got on Nextdoor, who, I don't know if you guys know Frank Vasto, but he does a lot of photographs. He's like the best thing on next door because he's not crazy. Um, so, well, <laughs> but yeah, no, he's, he's great. I mean, he takes these fantastic pictures of birds 
And so he's going to give us a talk about that. So we'll we'll promote it then, but we need some other ways to promote it other than just on Marvin's website, right? I mean, when do you want it to go live on go, Marvin's website? You can go as early as you want to, okay. as, as soon as it makes sense. I mean, if you put it out there right now, people are like, where's the park? And what's Marvin Day? Okay, but, so let's pick a date that you yeah. want it to go live. So when are you going to start promoting everything else? Hopefully this week. Then go for it. So I'm gonna, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So two weeks from now. <laughs> so I, do, I do have a whole like marketing and communication piece that I'm in charge of. So I'm, ideally, yes, like traditional channels that we would promote Marvin Day as a whole, that will be an option listed along with disc golf and the art sure. tours and the garden tours and everything else that they're registering for. But um, I love the idea of working with you to get the information out to the specific groups of people mm -hmm. that are most likely to be interested in that yep. through this Marsh Connection and all of those things. And I'll probably have a plant to, to give to everybody if they want it that I'll dig out of the garden at the park. And yeah, it'll probably so be a beauty berry. Broaden the reach specifically for those walks with the connections that you have and that group that is specific yeah. to that. So just let's just talk and figure it out. But as soon as you want to put, put it out there, we'll take it. And again, if... We have a whole bunch of people we'll do too. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. That's great. Uh, somebody mentioned the next door neighbor. Can we put something like coming soon in May on next door neighbor? Well, next door like just save the date. Yeah, you something can, like that. Let's talk about that when we get to the community. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. It's a great place to market. Yeah, and then you get all the naysayers. Right? And then you say, it's a copperhead. Tell them there will be no copperhead. <laughs> I already saw the first what kind of snake is this yesterday. Um, okay, so that's a bob thing. It's February. It's already started. It's, already, it's, February. <laughs> it's already started. Where the copper is. Probably an old one. Moving over to garden tours. Bob, do you have any updates? Everything is everything's locked. Uh, everybody's committed. I've gotten the biographies to Jill and to uh, Jamie. So they came in getting to this morning. So, so you have those. There's no need for registration on this at all. I do have a question for yeah. you. I saw on one of the pages something that looked like a passcode to get, I'm assuming, into one of these neighborhoods gate will for one be of the open. gardens. The gate, the gate will, will be, be open. open. Okay. I was just wanting to make sure. I didn't think they wanted us to share no, that no. code. With the, the, gate, the gate will be open. Yes, put that on next door. <laughs> that would go very, very well. So, well. 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 so, Bob, besides the park, we've got three for the garden tour? Correct. Okay. So, I'm looking at the um, the steps remaining section, and it looks like PRG and or cancel is to decide today the times of each location to increase traffic flow. No. Can, the, can you comment on that? Yeah, I'd be glad to comment. The garden, the garden tour is going to run from, let's say, 10 to, 10 to 1 or 10 to 2, whatever, if we find lines, okay? There'll be no registration. We've done these hey, before, Tom. Christina. People, you know, we had 40-some people at our house in the last garden tour. People and they just come, rolled in, they right? come and go. And we need to keep this simple for you. We don't need registration. A really good turnout for us for this tour and for the park. You're looking at probably 40 or 50 people. You know, hopefully it'll be more, but uh, but that's probably what we can expect over about a four or five hour period. So it's not this huge man. So a person could go to your house and then they could look at a map and go over, go over, yeah. and they just do the tour. Just, yeah. There are a lot of these in Charlotte where you get in your car and you yeah. drive. Self to case, the self guided. Yeah, you don't have to clean up your car. So the map tool would have. Who, who is doing that? The graphic designer is going to do the map. Okay. We'll have an opportunity to see that before it's finalized, yes, correct? <laughs> so, you know, the, the, you know, the thought was that you know, they have numbers, you know, they number one, you two, all this, and that. And we have the bio of what they might see. If it's, you know, like at Eagle Park, here's what you're going to see with Christina at the park. Or, you know, Woodland Garden with us, or Lambeth having two gardens. That type of thing, but but we'll just keep it really simple. Now, is, um, similar to my last presentation with her, do you guys, the people that are opening their homes for this garden tour, have 
also groups that you would like us to advertise these garden tours just like we're doing with the nature walks? I didn't understand the question. Do you have people Do they have like gardening like societies, societies or groups that would want to advertise that there's garden tours happening? Or are you good with us just promoting it overall? And You're good promoting it overall, but it would be great to get up with... Uh, what is Christina, what is it? Uh, what, what's the Master Gardeners group? What a master gardener? County, County Master Gardeners? They would be great to promote the garden tour. With. Well, I can I can absolutely help you with that. Okay. I run yeah. both of their websites. Yeah. I think, I think the other thing we're going to do, uh, I'll do this. I'll get up with the other chapters for the North Carolina Wildlife Federation, and we'll promote the garden tours mm -hmm. with them as well. Yeah. So because we have that, two in Union County, that will include promote. Charlotte, Matthews, Men Hill. <clears throat> That's a great idea. And they and they've shown up for other events that we've done. So, uh, I mean, but I'll get up with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we definitely need to put Cross all of that on there because yeah. they're more apt to yeah. show up for that. So I have a question, Bob, about logistics on a tour of the cottage garden. I mean, you can kind of stand there and look at it, but do I need somebody there from 10 to 2? That's what we did last I time we had. We were sitting there. I, think we I just need to find somebody. I think, when I'm I think it would be great to have some marsh paraphernalia there. <laughs> Paraphernalia. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the stuff we give away. <laughs> <laughs> Plants. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. That would be Just kidding. Uh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the south. <laughs> coming for con stems. Oh, it's an ice cream truck. And then we get a cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> All right, and then back to the ice cream truck. Uh -huh. Ready? At the ice cream truck. Okay, so I need, oh. to, I need to work work on getting making sure there's a body in the garden from yes. 10 to 2 on top of the nature walk. So that's that's easy enough to do. And I just added that there's a body in the garden. We're going to be putting together a list of how many volunteers we need, yes, what types, where, and when. So Thank I you. just jotted that down also so I will remember to follow the, up. The other thing, though, is is on the nature walks and the garden it can't just be a warm body it's got to be a warm body that sort of knows what they're doing so it's got to be you know some technical skills about that garden I can I can work with them you know and say that's what this is and that's what this is kind of thing so that they have something to talk about you see what I'm saying just to, um, just to hear yes for the nature store but not them. for the garden I thought just that was just a self-guided walk around and look at pretty well, stuff the, at the garden oh the garden the gardens well the garden the people that are on the garden tour too the host, mm -hmm. they're very familiar with the plants and because it's their home. Yeah, all right, if y'all need any, I think she's We're talking about the just the one, just, just the one at the cottage garden. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. All right, I need some move on. If you have anything, can I throw a suggestion in here? No, that we're moving the cottage on. garden. Yes, please. so that you don't have to have somebody there with knowledge of all the plants. Can you just put some some signs out there as to some of the? What I would rather are. train somebody to know them than to put the signs. I mean, because yeah. the, the, you have people that I do. Yeah. I got, I got okay. terrible. You can do better. You yeah, can do, can do better. better. Not All right. Better. Yeah. I just um, need to know that I need Bobby, the body. Christina, y'all can. Anything else you need from me or Jill, just let us know, and we'll just continue moving forward. All right, art tours. It's all Anything? Good. No, all good to go. It's all good. Awesome. Same well, idea, though. Right? You got more to set up needs. Wait, That'll be the three of us so, to discuss on the side. Art tour. Do you do you have the artists already signed up? Yeah. They basically is there a registration? Can they, can we add people still at this late? Or no? Yes, we could. The only reason I ask is because I contacted the guy that did the premiere for Inherit the Land. That he's got a ton of art that he did for the premiere plus his other stuff that. He's up there in age. He's like, yeah, you know, I, I, I want to do something where we put it on loan at the at the village when we open up the new building and all have some of that there and put a price tag on. But I haven't even talked to him about coming out and display. But if, uh, I don't know if there's. Well, Joe, can you email Bob and me about that? Okay. Because he, he can organize it from, you know, on well, here. But I, and then I can try. Well, I just was curious. I, I don't know. I just talked to him. I was just just got his name, and I had a nice conversation. He's more interested in selling his stuff because he's up there in age, and, and and then I was more interested in, you know, even if we did it in consignment at the at the village hall, something to put up on the walls there. People are there in the lobby, and they see something that they may like, or or our event on Marvin Day, which I explained. So, all right, I'll get up. Here. Um, all right, yes, come on. Well, but we're still on our tours, barely. Yes. 
<laughs> Come on. Well, just put done beside the bios. So that's completed. Jill, you got it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, great for Raptor demo at the top under the times. We just really need from like 10 to like maybe like 11.15. So we probably don't need the full two hours. Just just so you know. Well, yeah, we'll just open it right back up yep. as soon as we're done. As, yeah, as soon as they get all the out. Right. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, they're they are going to they need the barn empty at ten. They're going to pull up the van close, and they're going to start at ten thirty okay. to eleven thirty, eleven fifteen, and then they'll get everybody out, get all the birds out, and then the barn will be back open. One last question on art, Derek. Who who is distributing the map, and how are they distributing it? So we're gonna we're gonna put it on our website digitally right the graphic designer is helping us create it so that's where you bring the information to jill where the locations are she'll get those to austin and or i'm sorry she'll get those to the graphic designer he's going to give us those you know he's going to create a nice digital package for us and we can push it out on our website through you know social media links but we're also going to have hard copies mm -hmm. we can have to, yeah sure, to we distribute to restaurants to to uh like Southern Spirits is willing to put up. And I think uh, any sponsor that we have, yeah. like we have like a map like <clears throat> with like the Marvin Day Flyer or even on the back right. of the Marvin Day Flyer. Well, that's going to be critical. To... So let's talk about that when we get to the communications. Okay. So put a, Jill, we make a note for, okay. yeah. Just a quick question about the barn for the Raptor thing. When you said barn kind of empty, you just mean not kind of the art people, but I mean, every, getting all their stuff. No, no, no. All the stuff can stay, but everybody's got to get out the for them to bring in all the birds, yeah. and then they'll then we'll bring in all the people. They'll get set up. Then we'll bring in everybody. We'll open the doors back up. Okay. And I'm going to need a spot. I guess I didn't say this at the Raptor Center thing. Sorry. I'm going to need it like as close to a door at the barn. I'm going to need that like blocked off for them to pull up. So I'll need like a reserve spot right at the barn, closest door possible. Yep. I forgot to say that. Sorry. <clears throat> I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, moving on. Pony rides. John, okay. what you got? Did we decide on a. Yep, po po pony rides. Uh, I reconfirmed with the folks after we had the last meeting. We're going to use um, the combination of the two folks that you know will provide us with two ponies, but also a small petting zoo um, mm -hmm. that they'll be able to have there. We'll set it up. Uh, I'll, I'll work with Derek on where where we'll set it up in the park that mm -hmm. it's uh, best to handle. Um, we were thinking that, you know, uh, we'll charge for the pony rides. It'll help to, to get some of the money back. Um, but uh, um, we could do armbands or something like that, you know, um, as far as, you know, the kids being able to, to um, you know, be able to ride the pony, you buy an armband, and, and then you get your shot. Um, we need to figure out how much we're going to charge, what we're going to charge for, and put that in the advertising piece so that people, if we're paying cash... So the well, people are coming with cash, or if we're doing that, that, no that's part of for pony rides before. Why would we charge them now? Because we're having to pay for it. Well, uh, we, we actually, so we actually used to. Now there is somewhat of an issue with having someone taking money on behalf of the village. Yeah. So what uh, what I did float and they said that they can do this is you know the the people that are doing the pony rides can actually take the money and put it against what we're you know what we're charging them so we can work around it kind of that way. so do they have like a square or something that they can do you know uh, that uh, that I don't know so that, that I'll have so to figure we can out put that but on then uh, square or square or something they got some yeah I, I, I'll have to confirm well, that um, Otherwise, right. we'll just have to say cash only. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to combine Janet and Zoo to you? Yeah, Janet and Zoo to you. Okay. So it's ponies by Janet? Yeah. And um, it should be pony by Janet. ponies by <laughs> Janet. It's um, one pony, uh, 200 for the first hour, 275 for two hours. So we were going to do two hours. And then. Um, the uh, a zoo to you, they'll bring uh, a pony, alpaca, a llama, teacup pig, mini goats, 
uh, little sheep, mini cow, and bunnies, and they'll have them in their own enclosed area. Um, and that'll be six fifty for two hours plus a dollar twenty-five a mile from Monroe. So those are the the monies, and you know what what'll go into the budget. Do we have um, insurance on this? I, I spoke. Own. Jamie, do you know? Well, no, I they spoke about us. us. They have their own insurance, but it's all not all necessarily insurance for an event. So when we spoke about that, I, I think we discussed if it's about the event, it should be covered under our event insurance. We, we'd want to all right, make sure so we Are we doing all of this or just, I mean, like, are we doing like two ponies or three, four ponies? No, two just two ponies. Just the two ponies and petting zoo. Two ponies and a petting zoo. That's all they have. Kids wanting to ride ponies and two ponies I see the line being like, one pony. Well, yeah, uh, well we, yeah, we had another one that was three ponies, but when we were talking about that and, and the prices that they were, they were 500 for the first hour plus 300 for additional hours. So that would have been $800 right off the bat. That's Whereas crazy. if we have the petting zoo, the kids can be hanging out while they're waiting petting the other animals and stuff like that even though so even though it's one less pony by having a petting zoo you know i, I think it's fine if, if kids need to stand in line for a little bit and learn that you know they don't get everything that they want and, when and, they want it that's and, fine. and the pony rides literally like two minute walk around you know, and then we'll give so. them some sugar while they're in line, and it'll mm -hmm. be great. Go <laughs> get some food, food That's food right. truck, go get some ice cream. Go I'm going to gonna be on the nature trail. <laughs> doing All right, some is food. everybody good with that? Yep. That's, that has a voice. So is somebody, um, somebody going to... So about $1,000 for so, two ponies in a petting zoo versus... Yes. So they, so they typically do have like a contract type thing. So I'm going to copy Jamie in. Great. Um, restating the quotes that they gave me just so that, you know, it's all detailed there and Perfect. she has the, um, and somebody needs to check on insurance. All right. Well, I don't I think feel that was like on this is so you should do I will this. Yeah. the ponies. So, I, I mean, I was just going to go down that route and I'll say, how about what we do this? <laughs> what, I'll what, help why don't we do this or consider this is ponies and, um, Pet, petty zoo sponsored by village council and, and we all donate what we want i mean i'll throw in some money to it or yeah. we just it's it's almost where we're just allowing that to happen because right. i agree i don't think yeah. we should no, I, think the the kids, right I mean you know council staff you want it, staff and council mm -hmm. village council staff showing that we're invested in this exactly. too i mean if there's you know no, just the thought I'm not putting any pressure, and you can just put money into the whatever you guys feel. Does that does that flow with the other sponsorship structure? Uh, well, there can be a can't we can't we put a sign or something out there that this is this is sponsored by? Yeah, yeah. yeah. sponsored by Village Council. And I got ten dollars. Just sponsored I got by the sponsors. Yeah, we we're getting it. Sponsorship money. It's just thousands. We're twenty five dollars closer. <laughs> <laughs> it's already on the thing. It's just, it's is it not? It's already in the. Budget as no, we don't need to do it for the village council. Well, it's just it's being sponsored by people that are sponsoring Marvin Day. Okay. It's already in the budget. So then it's free. If you want it to be free, well, I mean, well, we could, I think what we could still foster an event and say that we're sponsoring that particular event if we want to. There's but no you reason. Got, you, buy, you either got to put in five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or five thousand dollars. If we put in as a council thousand dollars that sponsors this program that's a thousand dollars right you mean like i'm gonna give a thousand dollars you don't have to what i'm saying if we do it as a council it's like 200 that. bucks a piece a good coin over there kim what if we all if all five of the council put in 200 dollars a piece that's a thousand dollars correct what if my math works <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't I'm not listening Jamie i'm sorry i wasn't listening if we all if all five of us Throw in two hundred dollars. That's a five. That's a thousand dollars. That's a sponsorship. Correct. We can put. Are there six now. of us? Oh, six of us. That's right. The, the mayor council and then the mayor. Mayor, Sorry. mayor, mayor doesn't vote. Mayor doesn't vote. Mayor doesn't vote. Mayor doesn't vote. He so has to pay double. Yes, but whatever. If we all put in to make sure. a thousand dollars, does that work? I mean, I'm. I just think it's. I it's say no gesture. because we're not having individual events sponsored by individual companies. Well. 
We all just put Can in. Can we talk about this and we'll get to the sponsor page? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sort of shows that we're invested in the village. Just be a just be a thousand dollar level sponsor. Okay. Whatever. But I just want to make sure. But we're not going to have. However, show we show. And I'll figure it around. I don't care as long as we put it in and this is free. I don't care. If all fairness. Just make it free then. Is that? Well, I'll wait till I get yeah, the sponsor. Yeah, just wait a thousand dollars, right? Yeah. My, is, is our call. My thinking originally was only that it's a limited thing. So three, yeah. you could have more. lines out the door and kids oh. coming back over and over. You know, whereas there might be a lot of kids that don't get a chance to do oh. it then. You know, if, if it's free, I don't know how you keep the same yeah. kids from doing it over and over yeah. again. But but um, the, you know we we can still decide that. But any any other questions on the pony rides? No, no. Thank you for getting that. Appreciate that. You can okay. Move on to equine. Uh, the equine event. Um, I had a an actual uh, online meeting with Jill Rissay, who's been helping me uh, to coordinate this, along with Andrea Gazinski, who's the owner of Cedar Hill Farms. Um, we talked about it uh, and the timing of it between about four and five, doing about an hour. Um, what they would do is um, they would have a number of different courses that can do the different disciplines, dressage, things like that. Some that they don't, they'll be able to speak to. They'll have a loudspeaker there like they normally do for events so that they'll be talking about as they describe what they're doing and whether they're trotting, cantering, all of those type things. Um, so that's all set for about an hour. Um, the one thing that we were thinking about is, you know, having the parking really being at the high school to kind of, you know, have people use that as centralized. They do have some parking there, so if people, some people park there, that's fine. Um, but we want to make sure we have an officer down by that light where Crane meets, which is the front of their driveway. Just to make sure that we're getting people safely across yeah, when we, it starts we and finishes. We need to add that to this list. Make sure that we've got off duty somebody doing that. I mean, we're going to have plenty of off duty around doing stuff. We just need to make sure we've got somebody there from four to five. Yeah. The one thing that um, that I was wondering is, you know, she wasn't, um, you know, looking to charge us or anything for this. I didn't say this to her, I, so this is me just floating it here, but um, you know, I, I did tell her that we try to help promote her, so would it make sense if we you know, provided her with just like a lowest level um, you know, sponsorship. sponsorship to be able to do this or something like that? She didn't ask for it or anything, I just thought it would be a nice gesture because she's going to be organizing a whole bunch of people to, to run this event at her place. and. Uh, I, I, wanted to let's put that on the sponsorship page when we get there and we can talk about it just um, an idea yeah. yeah and then also um i'll think of it i'll come back oh do they have like a list of their students other people that we can market this specific event to kind of like we're kind of targeting marsh people and master gardener people like do they have like a list of like people that have taken classes or like i'm, I'm sure they have an email list because they have a, a newsletter and stuff like that so, we so want... she'll promote that on her own if we if okay. Okay. Page, all that kind of okay all right perfect so let's just make sure that we have that with the promotion part of it yeah yeah okay anything else no, that's, that's it. Now, moving on to food trucks. So this is where we'll talk about um, you know, scenarios and questions earlier about who we're using, free or not. I do have an update from Dan. Since he wasn't able to be here, he emailed me. Give me one second, I'll pull that up. He says that... He is. He hopes to have the taco truck nailed down this week. He has not found a cotton candy or sweets truck yet. There are related trucks. There are funnel cake trucks, but not specifically that. Uh, we're covered on ice cream and other sweets, but that's not exactly what was requested. 
Uh, Nori Treats and Eats has ice cream too. Um, there is a truck, the coffee truck, the poor farmer has hot chocolate and will sell cotton candy. Uh, he'll keep looking though. So no food food truck as of yet. No what? No sweet, just sweets truck as of yet. Was that the kids fair truck? Yes. Was, so that's the way he's having a hard time nailing down? Yeah. Okay. And we still don't know the taco vendor yet. But he said they'll have that down, nailed down this week. That's his goal. Okay, so this is where Jamie does not have our 1099s from him. So um, I guess you need to get, you need, Derek and Jamie or Jill, y'all need to add a list of <clears throat> vendors here and the steps remaining. And y'all need to make sure someone is a point person to get those 1099s and stay on them constantly until you get them. So I don't know if y'all want to go ahead and assign that now, if you want to do it after the meeting, but it needs to be done. So, so we already have a tab. It's not in the packet here because okay. right now there's only one. There was only one confirmed vendor before this morning. Okay. Dan did send me three through Derek um, more that I can add to the list. And then the one he did send me last week, I already got their 1099. So I'm just working with Jamie, with the two of us, just kind of communicating who's reaching out. And we have a whole spreadsheet where we track what we're getting from these vendors. So y'all got it handled then? We have it handled. Okay, yet. perfect. Christina, just a quick question. For the vendors, ice cream and so on and so forth, do we not need a hold harmless sign by them? We, we are going to need to hold harmless. Um, I, I would highly doubt it from the ice cream truck, but at least the um, firework vendor. I don't know about the ice cream. I would think not. Okay. But the, so the food vendors don't require anything? We've never required them. Okay. No. Just curious. But the ponies and all these people, all the vendors that are doing things for us, we should have the whole harmless? So for the ponies, yes. Okay. Yeah. You and I have had some conversation about that. Do you remember that document that I sent you? Um, yeah. Um, Bob's been using it for other stuff. So what, Jill, if you can add to your vendor sheet, whatever you call it, hold harmless, and then you and I can have a separate conversation about which ones need it. I'll check with our insurance provider, um, Bob, okay. and ask. I would just curious. Uh, I would find it unlikely, but I will ask. Okay. It's a good question, actually. <clears throat> I mean, I'd ask about every event that we're having. Okay. The blood drop, the 5K, the I mean, everything that we're having. The so, artists, everybody. The Raptor Center, like the bird gets oh, loose and attacks somebody. I mean, oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. a bunny yes. at the petting zoo. I mean, just seriously. Raptor gets loose and takes a bunny. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do y'all want to go back to the one we were having earlier about the ice cream truck and free versus not? Yes, you need to. Because Joe, Joe's under the assumption that we're not going to pay anybody any money up front at all for anything, any food trucks that are at the high school. And the only reason I, I say that with confidence is because we have an established venue that's been going on with the car show. And every year, I, I specifically ask that question to the guy who organized it. He goes, no, we didn't talk anything because they know... They know we're going to draw if, X, so it doesn't even... If these are the same issue. people that have been at the car show, if the vendors that Dan has, they are requiring money. So you sh and your car guys should talk to Dan and get together with the vendors because they are required... I mean, one's like a $1,000. So you you and car guy... What's the car guy's name? Eric. Eric. Right. You and Eric and Dan need to talk to these vendors together and figure out that because yeah. they have told Dan... <clears throat> that this is a new event, even though the car show is not a new event, but right. Marvin Day is a new event, they are going to charge money up yeah. front. So I think we're going two parallel things, and if we are, I think we are talking about the same taco truck and the same thing, so one is, in the past, has never asked us so to just, do that. So, so just talk, you and Eric and Dan to get together. together and I don't think they probably know that the that's, car show is really... Right. Marvin Ridge Band Booster Club. So that's what I'm saying. Just yeah. get together with those you three. Get together with the guys. They may say, you guys oh, figure that that's out. That's a no-brainer. Well, you know, yes, yeah. it, it, it is what it is. Okay. okay. I think hold hands, sir. Hold on one second. Um. So there's some deadlines that we tried to establish. I can't even read. Seven zero four. 
Don't say it out loud. You're going to be getting all kinds of calls from people. Communication break. I sent you his number, Joe. I, you know what? I went to look for it. And I didn't have it. I didn't have it. his email. Doesn't even come up on my email when I tried to email. Okay. So there's some deadlines that we tried to establish internally because, like you all know, this day is going to creep up on us before we know it. This is is this our last meeting together or no? You have a joint meeting in, at the end of March. Um, so when can we finalize the ice yes, cream? Yes, that's what we were hoping to do that today. So because he's going to need to tell his people something. Okay, so my guy's supposed to get back to me, which I'll tell you guys in a few minutes. But he's supposed to get give me a few dates if you want to pop in via phone call or. When we have these meetings, it's, it's working with Bob and, and uh, um, John Jones, and when we can all get together, kind okay, of thing. Sure. I know he has his way of doing. I'm just all on there is for support and, and trying to find that out. So I can probably find out more. Yeah. So I, I, maybe I missed I'll something. You on that. Are we having a free ice cream truck, or are we having to pay? <laughs> we're having we're having Bob Nelly Camp's ice cream thing that we are ponying up six hundred dollars. We will recoup that six hundred dollars as they pay as people come in and pay for ice cream. That is what we're having. So we're no today. longer talking about the free ice cream. We're not talking about Scarlet Realty. Is that okay? I, I think that's where we landed. I just didn't know there was a, a price associated with okay. it. Okay, so. I just want to make sure we're on, I'm is on the same page. Six hundred. What's six fifty? Seven o'clock. So if we decide to have ice cream out of Marvin High School okay. until seven, if we cut them off at five o'clock there, it's six hundred dollars. So we just need to decide do we want them to people are gonna want ice cream later. They're so gonna they're gonna be want six fifty, not six hundred. Okay. But people are gonna pay we're gonna get two hundred dollars worth of right for so, us. So really we're on the hook for four fifty, right? Well, <laughs> no. let me, I tell you what, let me go back and talk to the way I understood it or understand it currently, and I'll get to you or Jamie involved in the whole thing, is they need a, a minimum of commitment of $600. Yep. Okay, once they get that, that's a, you know, we, we get our money and then they make whatever they make. Yep. You know, but but they're going to get $600. They're going to get $600, but where does the $200 or 200 free ice creams come in? That's just part of the package. They give 200 away. We could say, look, we, don't want we only want 100. I don't want any free. free. I think it's no free. free. We're paying, okay. we're paying no, he, what, he's, what she's saying is that if he's giving us 200, we want him to charge for those so he recoups his money back. Yes. Yeah, I, I want the 200 free, but I want him to charge for it so that we get our $600 quicker. Does that Can make I sense? just ask a question? Is no, he like a make sense. contact okay. like that <laughs> is important to have for the ice cream? Because like when we had some... the company. Well, I mean, um, just because we had someone willing to give them out free just to put their name out there, like, is it a vendor that you really want to have that we have to pay for the ice cream? Well, he's... I have experience with this guy. Only I've been to a couple functions where he's been. Does a great job. All the ice cream is individually wrapped. It's very dependable. Mm -hmm. He's got a fair price, I think. And you know, but if Joe can find somebody that's going to do it free, yeah, why pay six hundred dollars? Well, we oh, although, although well, no, but 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 yeah. the problem yeah. is, is that the other it's vendors fun. who happen to sell know, ice cream and other things too. Free. They don't want somebody there just giving out free ice cream. Yeah. That's, yeah. They find that that's, yeah. that yeah. has a conflict. Yeah. That makes sense. But, so. but again, I, again, if I could just, the, the one thing that's clear of it, if they're selling ice cream, say, forget about the $200 free. They sit their truck out there. As soon as they hit the $600 mark, we're off the hook for anything. We don't pay them a dime. They've made their $600, and all after that, it's all profit for them, mm -hmm. and it's it's all them. I I think that's where, when you have a, a, an established event that's doing it, a lot of these, including the taco truck, is saying, if you're doing this, please invite us back because we we don't require anything. I think what would be a good sell enough ice cream at the car show alone. If yeah. you, I just think what would be a good you know. idea, Joe, is for Jamie or Jill and I to talk with this ice cream supplier so that we got 
two people listening to this. Yes, no, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be. A I smart don't think thing they need to, to give out any free. They just sell it, and then we recoup the money. All right. Open the window, start selling. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're not doing free. I, I would, I would say okay. not. I'm, I'm like that. We're not doing free. Because you're going to because because here's here's not giving out free money. Here's number two hundred. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, I, get to pay. I need three fifty. Yeah. What the hell happened there? So it's very confusing. It, yeah. Just simple enough. You open the window, you start charging, be done with it. Okay. So we're gonna pay the six fifty. We're gonna pay the six fifty or six hundred, whatever it is, to the vendor. He's gonna start charging the minute he gets there. Yep. We're gonna take our six hundred off of the end of the day total that he calculates. Yep. We're all on the same page. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So nobody's getting anything. Does that make sense? All right, moving on. Unless anybody has any other items on that. Moving on. I'll make sure. Okay. Now I don't want to show. Oh, it's still Fire Thorn Open House. Any updates on that? We've done everything. They are they are working on a flyer. Um, actually, I saw Caitlin Friday when we were at Fire Thorn, and she's working on the flyer that Fire Thorn is putting together. So as soon as I get that, we'll start adding that to our marketing. Okay. Thank you for getting that. You're welcome. And then moving on to Raptor Center. Okay, so we have two potato chairs. Uh, they are not setting up from six to eight. You get, get rid of that. They are setting up a 10 o'clock. Um, they will be there. The bar needs to be empty. I need that designated spot right up front. Um, so you have to jump in between the art and Yes. Yeah, I mean everybody. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. And then, and then the week before, we'll know about the bird release. Okay. And that budget's accurate. Yep. Good. All right. <sighs> Moving on to car show. Oh, oh no! You can, and you can take this that wrapper center. They can. Oh, yeah, I did tell them that. That's fine. We owe them two fifty for coming. We owe here. them two fifty. Kim, can I get this <coughs> information for them so we can start reaching out for a ten ninety nine since we have to pay them? Sure. Thank you. Yes. Moving on to car show. Yeah, so um, when I, uh, glancing at this, the budget, I'm not sure we're gonna have to worry about that because you know, we will have cost, but each car, um, I think early birds are like $25 uh, at day of show is $30 a, a car. Last time we did this with two months to plan, we, we had 180 cars um, total. That's with day of and things. So um, he, uh, as I spoke to the individual before, he's one that likes to, that, that has done this and never asked for help the last time. So what we're doing is offering a help between Bob and I and, and John Jones um, are just going to basically, you know, give us our marching orders of what we need to do. Um, as I mentioned before, the band is completely um, uh, supportive of this. So anything, I think this will all be done my thought would be it's all done through Marvin Ridge. Nothing comes through the village as far as monies. Um, it is all going to be going towards the thing. We're just, if we can kind of imagine that band is doing their car show and we are sponsoring as it part of it. as part of it. Hey, go to go support the band and go to the car show or just you know be a part of the car show with your own car type thing. Can you get us some? firm answers if we're on the hook for any money yeah like, well i made it very clear to the board um that seriously. we're not looking to make a dime on this so everything that a, anything that we earn so the trophies that they give out um they have an opportunity to do what they did last time which was a 50 50 raffle um they had their own bake sale where the uh, families brought their own baked goods in and sold their baked goods there and that's that that was all there and then you could uh um there were um prizes given out Joe, sure, like, but that's that's us making money Derek's question is are we on the hook to pay money that, so, that, that's that's what i'm saying is everything that that they earn there is i made it very clear that, that they are paying for all the things including the janitor that including they the fifteen hundred dollars for all right. the officers did you yes because i don't even know we didn't have officers there so, last time okay so like you sure were going to ask them if, if the school sponsors the event 
do they need officers? Yeah, that'll be one of the questions when we have this meeting and stuff. Yeah. So that that that's why I questioned the, the fifteen hundred dollars for four officers for five hours and stuff. When's that meeting? That's what he he has been traveling, and I again you told oh, okay. him today. I says I need some dates so Bob and I and John can, can all go. sit down and can figure Derek out. be in but, on that meeting? Yeah. But the band is fully on board yes. to go ahead and do the event. Yeah. Yes, they, okay. they, I am, I am basically letting them know this is your event. This is your, we're just getting behind it and we're going to yeah. make this part of. And we're bringing more people in the support. Right? Exactly. Because he already has his group of, and plus he's connected with a lot of other car companies. So it's, it's, it's going to be the same as like, if, even if we weren't having a Marvin Day event. All Marvin is doing is yeah. uh, things, so we're not necessary. Yeah. Now, if it all of a sudden yeah. requires, if, if if the band requires an officer, that's going to be part of their cost that they that comes from their what they get that day. So okay, so can we get the contact information for whoever this this band guy is? We need to add it on this sheet so that on the day of right now, and we and we need to change the time yes. at the time. Question. Eleven to three. Am I removing this? From the budget, if this is really a Marvin it Ray band like it, yeah. event that we're just going to help promote yeah. during yes. Marvin Day, and if there's anything else that comes in, I'll I'll come back and let you know. But I I clearly said this. I don't want any monies coming from Jill. You have to keep, keep the, the high school fee on there because we still have to pay the high school fee. Regardless. But that needs to be moved from car show to like yeah. uh, the week concert. concert. School day. Yeah, but we we still no, have to pay the school fee for the for the stadium, for the, stadium. Mm -hmm. that, uh, for the concert so something else. So, so, yeah. so high the school fee the, the night twenty five is for what? School or just rental? One? The high school fee rental for what today? The stadium concert. The well, what I'm saying is, do 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 we different things? And There's a concert show. Both have to pay one person. Yeah, I'm totally. So confused. why not let the hold car on, show pay that? Because the car you're not using the stadium. To answer your question, 925 is the rental fee for all facility space at the high school for the day of. For the car show space, for the concert space, parking lot, whatever y'all are using, it's okay. the entire fee that we pay. So, so we may have, have to re... And I don't know what, what fees they set up. All I know is he negotiated because they have to open up the high school and there's a janitor because they have bathrooms there that people could go inside the high school to use the bathrooms. Just in a way you so there's, there's a fee there and he, he was able to negotiate because it was a high school event. So we may see a lot of these go away if that makes sense. And it's still there's still going to be a cost but again, they, I made it very clear as you guys, we expect you guys to run this. Okay. All we're trying to do is. Well, we'll, we'll prepare for the worst. We'll keep the 925 in the budget for high school, okay. whether you want to keep I'll, it here I'll or move it to the uh, we can include it all. Just, just take note that even if, even if the band takes care, even if we don't have to have officers during the car show, we still have to have officers for the concert. Yeah. Right, which is later, but that's not five I, hours. I, I just want to make sure we have, different page. I just want to make sure it's on yeah, there it's somewhere. Not on there. Yeah. What, the off-duty officers on the concert? <laughs> so, oh, okay, we'll add it. Any other comments on the car show? But the 925 is the 925 is in the two spots. Oh, and I need, I need a, because he, he's probably, this is a paste and click type thing. He is probably ready to send out May 21st at this time, Marvin Day, but support the band, but we need a flyer for that. We right. need to produce a flyer? Well, yeah. Did we, didn't we have a flyer? This is the band Ooh. thing, so we're not paying for it, so the band needs to put the flyer together. Kim. We, we, you guys showed me last flyer. meeting. That's just the hey, Marvin Day flyer. The, I understand that, but that all he's going to do is take that and, and underneath it probably. Car show is sponsored by Marvin Ridge. Oh, we, that's, we already got that. That's yeah. no problem. Yeah. Right, we have the ability to put the name at the bottom. Yeah. It, it just kind of look at it as a, uh, um, you know. I thought you meant we had to make a new flyer. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, this no, is the yeah. existing that, that, flyer. That's not what it's just cross market. That's not what he meant. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Are we good on that? I don't know. Let when me know when that meeting is. Derek needs to be at that oh, meeting with you and Eric and John and Bob. That's fine. So we're going to remove these action steps over here for the safety protocol because we're going to let the band handle that. Also, the contacting of the sheriff's department for those off-duty officers. 
We're gonna let them handle that. Except for our off duty officers that we need. Right. For the concert. For the concert. Yeah. Does the band have a like a sponsor? Is there a teacher or a, sort of the head of the band? Sure. Who who runs the band? Um, well Mr. James runs the band, but Mr. but then there's that the board members are the ones that the do these fundraisers. The we want the booster. Can we show. get the contact information for the point person that you're? I have it right now. If you want. Okay. Okay. His name's Eric Berman, and his phone number is area code three zero two two nine three two seven zero one. Got it. Okay. And when 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 do you guys need? Like, what's your deadline to have this meeting by? He was thinking, I, he, when he texted me today, it was like, I go, we're having this meeting, did you, just a reminder, and he said, I will shoot you some dates a little later this afternoon so we can meet this week. Perfect. So hopefully by our, our Park Circle Greenway meeting next Tuesday, we'll have more details on this. Yes? Any other questions? No. I'm good. I mean, just moving on to Hall meet and greet. I don't think we have any updates on that. We, Except the fact that I hate this time. Because if there's a raptor release, I'm not going to be there. And it's going to make me irritated. I'm just throwing it out there again. There are so many people want to be should be in the morning. So, <laughs> for, for this, do you guys want to create a schedule? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was all that's going to do. You're on the other side of the room, kid. I can't <laughs> kick him. I don't like this time. The schedule is the time. So you you guys don't want to do an in and out time for each of y'all. I just want to make sure. It's too much. And I'm taking. I don't like this time. We can change the time if y'all want. So when the help fair ends at ten. I mean, I'm going to be at, over there for lunch, ten to twelve. I mean, I'm going to be at the. What do you barn want? for the Raptors in our waiting room in the okay. morning and afternoon, like lunchtime. Twelve to two. Eleven to one. Eleven to one with one. The only way we can accommodate that, because I'm at the car show, is is if everyone can be there. We just assign times. We say, okay, we got six council members, but we know we have to be there at certain times. Kim, you work in your time. You could be there, and we just leave the town hall open and make sure that somebody you can cover coming. a longer period of time than two hours that yeah. way too yeah. if you, if but you you'll have to have more everybody. staff or volunteers on site yeah. if you do three and three you don't need to worry about a quorum uh, we're right. gonna we're gonna do a consensual quorum yeah i've already, already got one one's already scheduled to go long easier just more to do it three and listen to me one time so what time do y'all want the event but if we're able to do what i'm suggesting then we can put it between say uh, 12 and 4 hour hours. That's cool. Leave a four hour window for okay, a do that. Break. Do that 12 to 4. Do that 12 to 4, and then I'll go from 12 to 2. Kim, 12, to, do the Kim, 12 to 2. <laughs> I'm always number one with you. Right, you're my number so you're, you're 12 to 2? That's why I'm sitting back here. What are yeah. you doing? Okay. I'll Jamie's 12 to 2. I'm Anyone 12. else want to be 12 to 2? Well, Bob and Joe are going to be at the car show. Yeah, so Bob and I will be 3 to 4. Andy will be 2 to 4. I don't care. I'll probably be at the car show some too. So Andy... So, yeah. so you, so. Bob, and Joe can come from 2 to 4. Okay. Well, and then the we'll car show ends we'll at go to the 3. Bird show. Yeah, because y'all shifted the time. We'll go to the bird show. The car show ends at 3. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we couldn't be there till the, I couldn't be there. If, if you're if showing you the car, three there, I'll stay there. I mean, all I, all I basically have to do is stay drive my car leave. up on the trailer. I just don't want to leave it out there. Let out. Yeah. I mean, I got like one council and then one board member. This is one of the easiest cars to start. You get a screwdriver and you start spread out a little bit. Just get out. the two on the band. All right, let's do this. Let's work on this. We'll work on the schedule. So you'll have to be at the top. It doesn't have brakes. I know. Whatever I need to do. Uh, what? No, pizza. Pizza. Uh, um, we want a food truck there. Okay. Um, all right. Let's bring it back in real quick. Um, okay, we're still on, we're still on Village Hall. Um, I wanted to say that we uh, I've been talking with Gene Stowe, and he is going to be on site during the um, during the open house during the meet and greet. 
Um, I've been talking about, like Joe's been saying, I've talked to him about some potential artwork. He's had he's suggested that we print up some of our own posters and some photos. But if Joe's able to get some art on loan, we can just have that there. So that'll work. Um, do you guys want to ask Gene to be at the park in the morning? That way he's he's there all day, but he's there somewhere else. I'm sorry. What was the question? Is it the Alaska? Do you do you guys want to have Gene Stowe at the park in the morning in uh, in, in conjunction with being at Village Hall during the meet and greet? Because I needed to confirm details pretty soon. That way he would be somewhere all day. What exactly. Is, what does Gene want to do? He said he's he's committed for the day. I can I'll ask him, but I want to be able to go with him go to him with a proposal. So I'm saying is if I don't want to go to him saying do you want to be at the park in the morning and we don't have space for him at the park in the morning. So I just want to know what we're going to do. I don't know how much space we have at the barn or. I think he's going to get much more traffic okay. at the park. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd love to see him have maybe a speaking opportunity at the uh, concert in the beginning. Maybe say something. I don't know. Maybe that's a thought. Um, car show, I don't know if many people are going to go by a tent for him and say, tell me about Marvin. I'm not sure that's going to happen. So he may be more effective at the, at the uh, you know, I mean, if we show him all the events that are going on, I, I would say, where, where do you want to be? Because right now, I just sent you guys, you two, a email saying that instead of trying to piecemeal him at different places, let's put him at one place. It'll be easier. Just fill a hall, man. Wherever he wants to go, especially if we're having like a long That's central for his for, for him. Time. So we'll keep, just keep him at Village Hall then. Sounds great. All right, I'm fine with that. Anything else on Village Hall? Um, no, I'm good. All right, moving on to closing event concert, and then we'll go ahead and talk about fireworks. And the same but concert, um, there's a lot of things on here that need to be talked about. Confirmed. If the band is bringing their own stage, I got good. you covered. If you want the lid and the bass, two grand. Perfect. Yeah. Side them up. Okay. I need to know when he needs to be there and when he can tear it down. Then he'll send you a contract. Um, can he be there the day before? Can he be there on the twentieth? I doubt it. I mean, so that way he wouldn't be able to do an event the night before. Okay. Then just come. Just try to be there as early as you can on the. On the 21st, those guys will roll in probably one o'clock, two o'clock. Yeah. So it needs to be set up by one for them to yeah. start doing their thing. Yep. Let me see what I do. So uh, I'm still confused. Is the band bringing their own stage? I assume no. No. The, say that again. The band's not bringing their own stage. No. Okay. How much does that cost? Two. Two thousand for the stage with a top. And do we have a size of the stage? It's DBMC. It, Does he run okay. sound? So the band's going to run sound. Um, I, I will get dimensions. It's really big. But your requirement, do you know your guys' requirements? Yeah. How many people are in the band? Five. Oh, no. There will be so much room. They will yeah. need to stand in. Oh, yeah. It's big. I can't remember the five. So y'all had discussed the uh, possibility of an MC at the event. Do y'all want to do that? Is the band going to provide that? Do y'all want to have someone separate doing that no 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 we can do it so i mean I, I, I'll, I'll i'll introduce the band i know them. okay so well but there'll be know. other things that you want yeah. to yeah. Uh, announce and it, it is good to have somebody that's good at that sort of thing i mean maybe that is you um but it it every so often somebody needs to be announcing something it seems like in, in these situations so are you going to do that sure do you want a local news person yes Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Would you rather a local news person do it? Oh, I just meant to be there. I didn't mean to take over the announcing. No, no, no. Do you have someone in mind? Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. Okay, we'll just go ahead and talk about it. Okay. That's my Boom. I just did. Yeah. That was me talking about it that night. Who do yeah. you got? Could he leave it up and get it the next morning? Yep. Okay. I would go after Casey's sister. Okay. Um, Paige. They don't know Dean. Okay, so do you want to ask her if she wants to do it? I can, yes. Are y'all in all, yeah, is everyone in agreement to have her do it? 
Her Pacific do, do, do you want that as an, do you want me to ask her to MC the evening event? Or sure. Rather her than you. Is everybody well, I wouldn't mind. That? I wouldn't mind introducing the band just because I, I know the band, okay. and and I don't I don't mind getting up and just saying Same a few words. things either. Yeah. Okay. Thanking all of our sponsors. I'm, I'm thanking mean, all the, exactly. I, I don't mind thanking all the sponsors and doing all the other stuff and just talking to the folks and doing that and okay, introducing so, the band. And we're allowing the sponsors, mm -hmm. if not if I'm not mistaken, a little airtime, right? Or no? Didn't I see there, that? It on depends there? on what level they are. Right, that's what I'm saying. If I have a five thousand dollar sponsor, but I might want to introduce and stuff, but but sure. then say, hey, let me turn it over him. He can. You got two minutes. Of, you know. Well, well, about well I think our, I think especially our five thousand and our seventy five hundred. Well, right. It's on the thing. Okay, so yeah. we'll get yeah. we'll get a stage schedule because we'll have all that written yeah. down if yeah. we were to announce. We want to make sure everybody's okay with having first pick to be across the street. Second pick to be Jamie, and in the event we can mix and mingle some. Is everybody good with that? Okay. So moving on to the next question, um, secure stage. Do we need? We don't have a contract or anything for the stage yet, do we? Christine? No, but I, he will send you one as soon as we say yes. Okay. He's been waiting. So, so are we saying yes right now? I'm assuming that's what we're doing now, correct? Yeah, yes. everybody's in agreement. Yep. Yep. Okay. Then send it to who? Jamie. Um, Mays. Yep, me. You. Go. Um, Finance Obtain contract for the band. So you've got a band. Yep. I need a contract for them as I'll well. I'll get them. Okay. Do you know how much they cost? Well, I'm trying to absorb some of that. So okay. I'm working with them on that. Do you have worst case scenario? Uh, let's say 3500 Okay. And then. Contract is that stage. the main act? Mm -hmm. Is there an opener? There is. Is there a cost for that? Um, I'll absorb some of that. <laughs> Worst case scenario? Um, Another 15? No, no, I'd say 800 bucks at max. Yes. But again, He's say doing well. He's just to be safe. Right. It's not yeah. your son's band, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then I assume we need generators <laughs> for the sound staging and stuff. I'll take care of that. You'll take care of it? Yeah, because I spoke we about a school lousy sound system about the school. All this setup. Have like, I talked to the school about it? Yeah. Like are they um, okay? I will. Okay. I will go I will go to them and talk to them. So I just don't want so, to go out there and just try to start setting up a so stage. We we have, say, no. Somebody runs and says, Don't tear up my field. Mm -hmm. Well you know? I, my hopes is that we'll bring it to off the field. Off, off the field. The track. Yeah. So, because you want the people to be close yeah, to the yeah, band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and there's no track resurfacing or wasn't there something going to go on during that time frame yeah, yeah the track's supposed to be redone around at the high school around that time they're hoping it won't we, we won't have a conflict but if they we can't hope that's what I'll, I'll talk with i'll talk with jameson and i'll yeah. get that locked out so yeah. jill, jill and derek can y'all make sure that jamie and christina get an updated to-do list so that they and, uh, don't forget anything that jamie and yes. and are we planning just to open the one the home side? Yeah, uh, I'm assuming. And then those bathrooms in the stadium will be open and accessible. We just we should be sure. we yeah we that we have we rented the stadium so we should have the bathrooms. Okay. The um, just a heads up as you were saying that stadium and bathrooms, the board did ask if they could open up the concession stand there, and I said well. I said, I know we'll have food trucks there, but that's another fundraising thing for them. But that's mm -hmm. something that could be, if, if is needed, but I, I don't want to step on the toes of the, the food, truck, food trucks. So would y'all agree or disagree to allowing the band to do concessions? I say no, because we're going to have all the food trucks. Yeah, I think we want to make sure the food trucks are successful yeah. this first time. Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 I want them to run out of food. Yeah. Yeah. So on the schedule, trouble. I don't okay. see Hang food on. truck past seven. Hang on one second. Is everybody in agreement to say no? No yeses. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so there. I guess there's your answer. Well, yeah, I'm look, I'm done. I'm looking. By the time the concert starts, would there be a conflict? Is my question. I see it till eight. Yeah. Eight, 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 eight. You want to switch them? We trust yeah. them there till eight. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. concert ends at what? Nine. Nine. Okay, so they shut down an hour before. Yeah. Okay. Who cleans up the stadium? We do. 
Is volunteers. Our fees pay for the fees. Clean up. Austin. What? Do our high school fees cover the stadium cleanup? Or are we responsible for that? It should, but it should, but I'm put it on the ask. I'll, I'll add to the list. The ask needs to be bathrooms and cleanup. Yeah. Well, bathrooms should be included, right? but I'll ask. Should, but but let's confirm that. We can't do like should be clean. We gotta have a hard time for you. Got it. Moving on to fireworks. Um, oh, just hold on a second. The stage is 16 by 22. There you go, that's it. Jamie, just, just confirm that your group is fine with that. should be fine. It's, that, trust me, for five piece, that's tons of room. You don't want to be too far apart. You can't talk to each other. Right. You've got to do a lot of work. 16 by 22 is big. Yeah. So yeah, it'll, nice. the, the, the stage will actually be set up on the actual field, not the track, correct? Oh, my God. What? That's important. We it is, just talked it. about it like five minutes ago. <laughs> then I, I, I wasn't clear on that is it, uh, because it was. I know you have to use the track to get stuff on there onto the field. They you want it as close to the stands as possible, but the track may be being resurfaced. We're trying to find that out. So okay. Jamie, to Jamie is going to talk to the AD and, to and get all that ironed out. So okay. see what to do. Okay, moving on to fireworks. We've got the time listed at nine thirty. The development that's happened over the last couple of days I've been in communication with the property owner that the property that Councilmember Line identified as a potential um, shoot off place staging area um, is it are they good or not they, they are they're, they're gonna make a decision today I, I, I think they're leaning towards a yes so I, I feel like we're gonna be um, okay there so we'll just assume that it's gonna be a yes um, you've got the vendor and the pricing already do you have can you give me the pricing 7500 So we need to update that list, Jill and Jamie. Um, Those bands are looking cheap. So we, so we need to get <laughs> I know. Hunter. Well, again, we I'm absorbing some of the... I'm just saying. I'm... Well, it says Nestor, so that's why I was... Oh, okay. It's got Nestor. Yeah, I'll get it done. Okay. Um, and then the insurance, I'm going to... We've already talked about... The, me and the vendor have already talked about the insurance and all that stuff pending approval from the property owner. So we'll make sure that's taken care of. Um, aside from that, determine location for viewing and set Jameson property. I don't know what that means. That can be removed. So my, my hopes is as soon as they play their last song and they say, y'all have a great night, everything, the first fireworks go off. So we'll, we'll, communicate that. Yeah, okay. yeah, we'll have we'll have radio and I'll say far more. The far vendor more. does it. The vendor they should be able to hear the 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 They're the ones lighting the match and yeah, and we don't do we don't do anything. I'm out they, fire stick. they just go out there and I'll be there with a the radio and I'll know what his last song is and I'll say okay, because they'll be able to hear the band. Yeah. That la all right, this is the last song. When that when they say good night, y'all have a Great could he announce night. the fireworks though? I mean, the your band could they not announce? And you could do a countdown. Yeah, a you countdown. could do a countdown. Yeah, sure. you could really build it up. Sure. Yeah. And then they'll be there, bam. Yeah. And and it'll be a 10, 15 minute just barrage. Yeah. Just and, should, and if it's about nine o'clock, you should have any problem by them to communicate because I can hear the PA system at my house. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be able to hear it in the field next to you when you when you're announcing over your. Yeah. Well, it'll be okay. a microphone, so different we'll, speakers. We'll so. get that. We'll get the, the countdown or whatever on the stage schedule so that it's apparent. We'll have to buy some radios. We need to get some of them anyways. I got some. And my, Don't buy them. Long buy miles. Them. A lot of miles. Yeah. Between. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything else on fireworks? On the radio. All right. What time do the fireworks start? Nine thirty. Oh, nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Can we push that back a little bit? Um, back. It's like a good question, Jill. Earlier or later? Later. You well, what are your the, noise you ordinances? The, you want the band to go to at least 10. Oh, I thought the band well, would be Depends on what you're... We back that down. Yeah. yeah. One of the previous meetings, if y'all are going to do okay. that. 11 o'clock. I sure think you decide. The what is thing. Well, they've already changed the schedule. So, so yeah. I, mean, yeah. You, we I don't know what it is here. We've right already changed nine. it once, so... Ends at 9? 6 to 9? Is that on for 3 hours? Yeah, but he's got an opener. you got an opener that'll play for an hour. Yeah. And then there'll be just a kind of little bit of a little bit of a break, then go to the food trucks and they come back and 
My guess is that the main band can set up, like they're going to start at whenever your first guy starts, right. right? And he'll just come up in front of all of that. And then the, the main band can come in and right. there will be very little in between. Yeah. Because the first yeah. guy's a, just yeah. one guy. What time That's does it good. get dark at that time? Oh. It's daylight like eight eight time. Late. 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 Nine o'clock. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, so moving back to the main schedule, yeah. six o'clock, the we band starts. Sure start. So do you want us to put an oh, insert yeah. there Nine for the, for the, the um, yeah. Yeah. you should be. It says 825 is sunset. 825. So by 9 o'clock, so by 930 it'll be dark, dark. Yeah. Okay. So Jamie, are you good with those times? <clears throat> yeah, I'd rather, I don't know, I guess I'd rather push it back a little bit, maybe in 30 minutes, but. Okay, well then let's do, I mean, let's do it. You, I mean, I, I don't know. What is, is there a noise issue. ordinance here? Yes, yes. Yeah, but it's, it's County. It's okay, so ordinance. what's the but time? 11. 11. 11. Oh, then you're good. What, I mean, the fireworks that's are why, go well, you got minutes, you, right? the, yeah. the, the only thing I think, though, is that the reason we were kind of doing it at 6 is we were trying to keep the continuation of events and things going oh, yeah. on and the food Starting trucks. at 6 isn't a problem, is it? No, you. Just, yeah. I mean, you. He just wants start, to go longer. Yeah. So, well, but what I'm saying is that if if we start at six and he's an hour for his warm up, twenty minutes in between sets, 20. and then two hours gets you to nine fifteen, you know. So, <clears throat> is, is, your, is that late enough? Otherwise, you're going to start creating bigger breaks earlier on. Is Ryan? Maybe it's six thirty. Jimmy, give How long do you plan on playing? Because some bands play for an hour and a half, and they go home. Sunset at eight twenty-five, nine twenty. Oh, he can play as long as you want him to play. I mean, I like tell you. So, Jamie, so going from the first band to the next band, do they use a lot of the same equipment? Yeah, that's what. There shouldn't be any. No, there's not going to be. He's not going to worry about any of the setup stuff. They'll, those guys can walk up there. I mean, the drummer's going to use the same drum set. The first band doesn't have any. Okay. All right. It's got a band. So, okay. so are we changing the time, guys, or not? I say we do. I okay. mean, moving what do from want to 6 to 9.30. That's or what 10? It, that's what it is now. It's six to nine right now. No, six to nine. Yeah, but, I, but then we have fireworks starting at nine thirty. So what are we doing for thirty minutes? That's what I'm saying. So, so stretch the band. Oh no, we're, we're, we're going to do the fireworks once the band's done. Well, yeah. I know, but right now it says the band is six to nine, and then the fireworks yeah. it says nine thirty. So you got a thirty minute gap there. So, so I would go six thirty to nine thirty. Yeah, yeah. because so I know I, I know you're going to try to keep people there, but people will leave. go back home. They'll have they'll fix their cocktails because I know Marvin yeah. pretty well. <laughs> they're gonna fix their co cocktails and then they're gonna get on their golf cart some, and then the rest of them are gonna come in and they're gonna say, all right, all right, now I'm here for the now I'm here for the. So day. are we still having fireworks at nine thirty? I would say nine thirty. So okay, so the fireworks don't need to change. Band the band just needs to go from so six thirty to nine thirty. Okay. Both. Well, that's not so playing longer. That's both bands. I would say six. Both bands. Both bands. Okay. Yeah. Jamie, Is that okay, Jamie, or do we go to ten? I, I would do I'm, six to nine thirty. And you have time for that if those guys are willing to play that. Still yeah. First guy for an hour, the next one for two and a half. We don't have to have a yeah. fun time on the fireworks. We can just say fireworks is following the right. conclusion yes. of the band concert. Right. And they just are it's ready. Because yeah, you days. don't want to be mid song go, oh shit, stop. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. like, yeah, exactly. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those guys will be already Sorry. set up and ready. Yeah. They're going to be sitting back there. there. So we're we're gonna gonna change change. Change. Okay. Who cares, right? All right, so, so guys, we're moving on to t shirts and logos. Nothing, <laughs> Nothing on here. I do know we need to start getting some. Um, Things solidified as far as how many shirts we're gonna yes. sell or give away. So can we make some decisions on that? Well, first of all, did you guys decide on a vendor? The lowest, the cheapest one. Which one was that? Limpro. Yes. Well, I've worked with Limpro before. They are they're fantastic. They're not local, but somehow they get her done. So I don't know. What's the price per unit? I, it's hard for me to. Um, it depends on what you do, but it's five to six bucks a per. It's on there. the back. I see. I see. Let's just say six dollars a shirt because there's a range. Yeah. So that, um, that means... It's all they do. It's oh, what's their lead time? They're going to need to know thirty days before you want them. Probably actually two weeks before you want them. Everything in so the format. Thirty days. Yeah, I, I'm saying thirty days. I'll bet they would days. tell me two weeks. I okay. emailed you to a question like, what, how they need their the images sent. What format? Okay. I'll, Vector. I'll, yeah. Okay. Probably yes. 
but we need to have we need to have it all laid out the front the back and that was my other thing do you are we going to do 5k shirts did they lay them out the shirts they can lay them out yes is it or an we additional cost I don't know. I'll have to check on that. We so generally do a one super important thing. I don't want to make sure y'all don't forget is that we've sold this whole premise of sponsorships based off of certain people being put on that t-shirt. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that that sponsorship letter gets matched up with what. Yes. 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 And so, so the other festival I belong to, we do the same thing. We the back of the shirt, the logo's bigger, the more money you've given us. And so yeah. we have way too many sponsors because they will take any money you give us. Um, uh, so you've got fewer sponsors maybe in tiers, you bigger logo at the top, right? And so we lay that out. So you've got to have all those logos in a, um, I'll find out exactly what kind of format we need. Can your graphic designer do that? Or, I mean, it's not that hard to do. I think but. our graphic designer could do that, right, Christina? Um, he can, but he charges fifty dollars an hour. So okay, then let me find out if they'll do it. But they're going to charge you more, most likely. So what I what I would envision is if we have, say, for instance, right now, let's say we go with what we have now. We have a uh, platinum sponsor and a gold sponsor, correct? We have two platinum sponsors. Two gold. Two gold, one platinum. Two platinum gold is and one be platinum. Unknown. Okay, so we have that. So let's say the the front of the shirt is that platinum sponsor and then the back is maybe the platinum two platinum is going to be anonymous so okay. right now we have none okay. so normally when you put your logo on the front and you put your sponsors on the back the biggest sponsors yeah. and then right the right so, so then we would have technically two logos two gold logos on the back and, on the back yeah yeah okay. all the sponsors go on the village of marvin marvin there. okay so marvin yeah, goes on the front there's... two big sponsors on the back and then just a list without their logos on the back on the t-shirts right. okay. however you want to lay it out yeah. the fewer so, logos you have to collect the easier yeah because it's just yes, hard to get yes. them so, Jamie, um, base if you can get with christina to get her the list of sponsors that need to either have the logos or it's laid out per what was in the sponsorship request letter that'd be great because you basically need to, to say to see what it is we sold the people at based off of this letter and then give her a list there's only um does anybody want one yeah there are um logos and t-shirts for platinum they're on here too i'll just get you to how to yeah, yeah, let's get together. And then the gold people have select placement, so I'd imagine if you had platinum, it'd be big at the top. Yeah, y'all can figure that out, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and I've got something to go by from the other festival, so easy. So how many shirts do we want to sell? How many do we want to give away? Because we're going to need to... Let me ask you another question first. So 5K gets a t-shirt or not, or is that something that the race people are taking? The race people. So that's a completely the different t-shirt than this one? We're asking. So the 5K T-shirt is a completely different T-shirt. We're not managing that, or we are. That's this T-shirt. No, you tell me what y'all decide. I mean, I like the Marvin Day T-shirt with the 5K. Um, I think that's cool for our sponsors. No. So she does the vendor provide T-shirts with a $6,500 package or the? No. They can. Okay. It, it they costs. can. You just add on. Okay. So, so you would be better off to buy one T-shirt. Yeah, that you know your price will go down per t-shirt if you buy more. The only logistical problem I see with that usually when a, a running company is doing the bibs and everything and you go to pick it up you are given your t-shirt mm -hmm. and everything all at mm -hmm. once so we, we would have to have that. And so that's what so we just okay. would need them a day earlier right because they're going to do all that the Friday yeah. night before. We right? don't want to have them in hand a week out well, anyway yeah. so yeah. We because you have to segregate them by size and all and that kind of stuff. You would, you right. would also get a number of how many you would need to. right so so with the heritage festival we have one well we have two t-shirts we have one for the runners and the and the public it's mostly just the runners that we don't give any t-shirts away and then we have one for the workers and it's of a color and the other one's white and that that's how we do that uh, but we don't have to do it this way it's exactly the same shirt one's just got a, it's a color shirt and the other one's white quite cheaper so do y'all want to give shirts away to the running people to the 5k people generally it's considered part of their it's registration part of their yeah. 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 yeah part of the registration <clears throat> charge so yeah so make it 25 dollars instead of 20 and you pretty much cover the cost of the shirt not just an idea i, I understand the, the significance of quantity to produce well it only prices. goes so far actually but you know going back to <clears throat> the possibility of having a 5k to raise money for a cost related activity it just seems to me that one we get more runners 
and we'd have um, that teacher would support that particular activity, be it breast cancer or, or our park or our park or whatever it is, or you know it could be run run for your life with wild in it, run for your wildlife, raise money for whatever in the community, or the park, Eford Park. So it's completely separate from the sponsors. Thing. Absolutely. So two t-shirts, one for Absolutely. the 5K, one for the... One for the 5K, and, and I just think we'll get more runners if we have an activity or a cause that people really believe in. So let me ask a question about that, <laughs> then. Does it have the sponsors on the back? Um, I'm going to answer okay. that. No, I just yeah. the one I just ran in just has the race logo and and the running company that put it on. It doesn't have a list. So of you're not. So you are you are promoting the the race March 29th company though. Well, no, so I'm, I'm just saying that. No, 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 in March. Yeah. Correct. In place yeah. of the race, we don't have to put the run the company on right. there. I no, see no, 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 at no, this point. I see we go with the 5013C. As the main next thing in there, or it could be next Tuesday. still uh, still could be Marvin Day March on the front, main yeah. sponsor, or 5013 C right. on the back, and that's it. But that's separate. But then you also, what's good about that is you also have a, an idea of um, you need to get your or you need to get signed up soon so we can get that T-shirt ready for you. Meaning, if we have 500 runners. We're going to have 500 an order for 500 shirts. Okay. Whereas the, on the other so five t-shirts, okay. five k shirts, okay. completely separate. Hey guys, that's what I'm saying. Hey Is that what you want? Yes. Right. Okay. Let's that's so, well, we need to move on. Um, we've got other topics we've got to talk about. Sorry to rush this, but we've we've got to. Staff has got to be out of here by 11:30. So can um, I ask a question? Then can we get together? Because this is not settled. Well, I don't know so what to tell we, yeah, we, we have our meeting next Tuesday. Yeah. We can figure that out. Though. The t-shirts. So, okay. okay. If y'all y'all that will be the meeting. first thing that we talk about. Okay. Good. Y'all have a meeting again on March 1st. You see our Gitas. Y'all can talk about this in more detail as to how you want to recommend to cancel as far as the t-shirt situation. The next joint meeting we have is on March 29th. We can make some decisions on colors how many were given away that sort of thing I, i'm going to say that is way too late yeah. sorry we need to sit, we need to have this done by the first week of march because of supply chain issues okay. every one of these people said they had issues with that. so if that's the case when's the next cancel meeting then, march 18th okay then we will come up with something by march the first we will have it ready for march 8th and then we'll need to make a final decision gotcha. march 8th perfect. Perfect. perfect thank you that needs to be the top of yeah and i'll have some ideas for do we need one t-shirt or two had t-shirt to march 8th which one okay we all just came in and am I talking to you about logos or Jamie about that? Which one am I talking about? Just make sure it gets you. Okay. So I will get that before the first right. so I can have a mark up. Moving on to sponsorships. Find your account. Um, I'm going to turn this over to Jamie so she can go over briefly what we've got but, committed. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, so on here I just kind of updated with um, what I've gotten in. Anything in green, I've received the check. Um, anything in yellow, uh, those have been told that we are awaiting, like they're committed and I'm awaiting the money. So I have received $8,500 in payments. I have 25,000 committed, I haven't received those funds yet. And the total then would be at $33,500. If anyone has updates to this, please let me know and I will update it. Um, there's some, there's some people on here, um, some big companies like um, Movement Mortgage that we still need to be reaching out to. Publix. Publix, we have Kohl's. Um, there's some others that I think might still give. Um, and I know that some others have said that they would give. Yes, sir. So. Hey, Jane. Just, I wanted to throw out before I mentioned consideration of uh, Cedar Hill for a bronze membership in, in lieu of you know, if that's something we want to consider. So I would I would just ready. put Cedar Hill like as a sponsor. I'll talk to you directly. Like just put them okay. on the like the back of the shirt. Like at a bronze level. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's pretty they're much they're what incurring a bronze some cause for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Put yeah. that that's on. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to be able to tell her that. Okay, yeah. and so the next the next play. thing that y'all that place marked is the race sponsor. There were discussions about the race sponsor 
particularly for the 5K. So if y'all want to hash that out real fast. What? I, I just spoke to him. Now, one of the things with um, uh, the uh, one you mentioned, uh, Isabella Santos Foundation, one of their concerns was, even though they're happy to do it, one of their concerns was they may get that may get confused with their big annual run, which is usually in the fall. So we may need to identify another 5013C that we're willing to support on the 5K run. Mm -hmm. And um, I can circle back to them and make sure that they definitely don't want to be a part of that or could be and say, hey, we're handling this from a running standpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so it, if we... Logistically, uh, Bob Nunnekamp has some suggestions on the, the call for the race. Y'all can have a conversation at the PRG level on March 1st, make a recommendation as to what you want cancel to consider, and then cancel can decide that on March 8th. Sounds Are y'all good with that? Yeah, Bob, let me get with you because I have one that I'm yeah. that. Sure. And I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, also, I, got, I sent just, I don't want to respond without everyone jumping in. So I, I thought Auto Bell would be one of our like, top tier sponsors. I know Carl Howard and well, and I sent him a sent him the packet, and I finally had to hit him again on it. But he sent it over to his sponsorship person, and she said, "Good morning, Carl. Forward me your email regarding Marvin Day. Can we offer our support in any way other than a monetary donation? Uh, are you having any drawings, giveaways that we could send some car wash passes for? Please let me know. I don't know how to respond. I do know how to respond." Um, <laughs> Um, because I'd, I'd like to, you know, see if there's a way I can wash towels to get my both of my cars washed, um, and that's not going to fall. So there's that so auto bill. And one of the things that they do at um, the car show is they you do a car lane full of things for X amount of dollars, and that puts it in for a variety of different. So we'll take anybody who wants who has a retail type shop, whether it's Starbucks, I think the lady already said that she would be interested in. I don't think they're wanting that. to set anything up. I just think they want to go, here's some passes, and y'all do as you want. you should respond however you feel appropriate. And if y'all are fine yep. with that, I'm Talk fine. With that. My, here's, here's, here's how, when I first talked with him, I do two cars at their maximum package. So I paid him $150 a month plus tip. And I have mine on there, too. And hers. <laughs> so I told him I'm looking. For, I'm looking for you to do at least a gold or platinum, simply because I pay for it myself. Mm -hmm. um, Derek has a good idea that if like giving little stuff out for vendors, it may. That, that's not his point. <laughs> that's not I, I don't. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let Auto Belt. <laughs> I, I know how much they make each store. That to me, I'm canceling okay. my two cars. Okay. Okay, so do you need anything from us? No. Okay. <laughs> he wanted us Put to say you respond however you want. I'll, I'll okay. I, right. I'm sorry. I mean, come on. Yeah. I'm, sp I'm, I'm you're putting more you're money in. You're paying for it. You're paying for sponsorship. Yeah. Yeah. So if you need anything from us, just let us know before no, March 1st. I think I got that. <laughs> okay. um, marketing and advertisements. This is a, a big component. We did. Are we not going over this? We, I just went it over is it. what it is. I mean, we okay. it. so it's, it's always in progress. Did you have any questions? I, I just didn't know if somebody... We don't have to go through it publicly. I mean, we all have it. If you have updates, give them to Jane. Okay. She's rocking and rolling. And I'll get with you on yeah. movement. Any questions on the sponsor? No, but anybody knows anybody wants to get retail-wise, wants to give away um, raffle-type stuff that they could win at the car show, we'll have an event at the car show. Um, again... Whether it's uh, bunk cakes that he wants to donate something, we can give them that. And that's what we do at the car show. Those are raffles that go on during the car show, usually near the end. So, do you want to put a deadline on this? What's that? No, there's no deadline. Yeah, but, there they, but they run, you are they, they basically get the funds for the raffle. 
two that's weeks right. before. That's part of the thing, but no. they no, rely no, on donations. The, they rely on donations from the companies. Well, no, whether it's a car wash or car whatever, or anybody wants to donate. So, That'll be different. Okay, when we get with the t-shirt vendor, you said they're really only going to need it two I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't know. She said 30 days. Okay, 30 days before. I'm going to find out before the first. Hold on. Let them make that decision. Can I recommend something? I used to not to say I used to do it for a living, but I did. <laughs> Give yourself a 30 day out. Yes. All your everything's ready 30 days, quote, prior to the event, because we're going to find there is going to be a lot that's not ready. And if you only give yourself two weeks, it's right. going to be a bomb run coming in May 21st. Because so suppliers got... may be short of t shirts. I mean, she's stuff. already said that. They, okay. All three of them said stuff, that. Stuff, stuff happens. It's going to be money two weeks ahead. So I, I would really recommend, recommend backing that two weeks. I agree. Back. But here's the thing if somebody wants to hand you $1,000 two no, days before they think you're going to take it, their name is not going to be on the t shirt. That's fine. Okay, so do y'all want to make it up on a 30 day exactly. or do y'all want to push it up? So what I've been doing with this with this sponsorship sheet that I've been sending out to everyone, I've just been updating it. Like the, right now, it says the deadline's the last day of February. Um, but obviously, we're going to take sponsorships until the t-shirt deadline and we need to get with the with the vendor to find out so what i'm asking cancel and prg board is what deadline do you want to establish for selecting sponsorships i'm hearing a 30 on the table does anybody else have any other suggestions no, it needs to be 30 days out days. from the 21st correct yes no, oh. it needs to be it needs no. to be like no. 45 to yeah at least 45 i would say, I would if say, you want I would to be, say on, on, you want to be on the marketing yeah. material right. yes, yes. I, 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 I would say by our meeting in april which is about six weeks before okay so to summarize everything that's just transpired the deadline for the sponsorship has been proposed at 30 days 45 or 60. Does anyone make, want to make a motion? Our, our, uh, I make a motion that the um, deadline for sponsorships would be by our meeting on April 1, so that if we need to make any recommendations from there for council, we can. And that'll give us about six weeks before yep. the um, and we and, and I would also recommend to tag along that these people in yellow that have not paid, we need to press them to yeah. go ahead. And I would say they're not going on the t-shirt until they pay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's a motion on the table for April 1st, 2022, deadline for sponsorships. So we vote separately. Separate. We, 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 you don't need a vote, you don't need a vote for that. Okay. Well, we're just trying to move this along. So, is yeah. everybody, is, is everybody Consensus, at the table? everyone good with yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. okay, good. So, if somebody wants to pay after that, are you all fine with me taking the, yes. their yes. payment? They're just yes. not going to be on a shirt. Correct. Right. Well, okay. If we can get them on the shirt, we will, but th that's the deadline. So, we're going to yeah. try and have the shirts done. So, I will update the sponsorship sheets with the new date on them, and then I can email it out to everyone so you have the updated copy. If anybody needs printed copies, or if you have somebody that you need me to email it to them, please just let me know via text or email and I will send it to your person. And if your name is beside one of these things and you haven't reached out, please reach out. If it has and, and or follow up. If it has nothing in the status, that means I haven't received an update on from you. And if you're not going to, then tell Jamie and she'll reassign it to somebody. Okay, any other discussion on that? All right, moving on, moving on to marketing and advertisements. We've got a slew of things we need to get accomplished internally here, and that's mainly just getting um, information out to the public, which needs to be done in-house. Looks like there's a lot of Jill and um, Derek and Austin. The QR comments. code's done. We can take Is there that any off. comments that y'all I've contacted. That? I've contacted Valentine Magazine, and they're going to... Um, I sent them over our packet, and they're going to schedule a time to meet with me and okay. anybody else that wants to meet. But they'll get it in. They're going to try to get it in their April um, lifestyle magazine. That's correct. So if you flip over to the next page, these are all the different places that we are planning on marketing with. If you see anything that you want to add to it, feel free to let us know. Um, some of these items are going to cost, so we um, we're still having to hash that out internally of how we're how we're budgeting for that. And should I let you know if I have other ones? Yes. Okay. Um, How exactly are you planning on doing school flyers and announcements? Each three or something. Yeah, they yeah. do a big electronic yeah. now. Yeah. So, so, I. With that, oh, I'm not done. 
<laughs> with that, I can get the Marvin Elementary and Marvin Ridge Middle PTSO have both agreed that we can put it in their weekly That's great. class. That's super. In addition to the Peach Star, because some people don't even read the Peach Star stuff. So I've got the PTSO for Marvin Elementary, or the, P the PTO for Marvin Elementary and the PTSO for Marvin Ridge Middle. I've gotten thumbs up that we can give them. So as soon as we get that stuff, let me have it and I'll give it to them. Can you just add that to the um, list? Because that's going to be totally separate than the Peach Star. Yeah, and one other area, and I don't know if it's on here, but tonight. I know that the Marvin area HOA presidents are meeting, and Correct. I'm assuming that's going to be part of the conversation. Correct. So we're going to try to, you know, that needs to be, that needs to be added. There's going to be uh, just information that the two HOA presidents meetings prior to the Marvin area. In addition to this one? No. This so this one and one, another one. One more. Correct. And if both of them, it will be on the agenda. And we're, and one of the things hopefully we discussed tonight is how they're going to get involved in pushing this out. Yeah, perfect. Anything else you want to add to this? Um, yes. Um, I specifically talked to the owner of Southern okay. Spirits. He has a VIP list of in the neighborhood of thirty or 40,000. That that's a point and click that he would send that information out. That's Obviously, he's focused in South Carolina area, but obviously a lot of us utilize his place. So that's another thing, and he'd be willing to do that just on his... Can you get yeah, his contact information, or should we put you down for that? I contact? have it, and I'll give him a call, too. So, Christine, real quick. Kim, so when, when you're contacting the schools, have we got something written up yet mm -hmm. that's going to be distributed to schools in terms of Mormon Day? Well, when we do... Um, I think we can expand that expand that I school can. list by a lot. Yeah, and I'll be glad to help with that. So let, let me ask you this. So if we had something, just you know, a template that we could distribute. Well, that's the question because we don't anticipate having you know a ton of different templates for each location. Right. We're literally going to do the same one for for each place. I mean, so. I was just going to send the flyer yeah. that we approved. In whatever form we get it, I can't in. recall what's on the flyer. Does it have the fireworks and yeah. the cars? All the, yeah. the emails that come out from the schools are all like all the school sponsored events and all that stuff. Do we know who that is? Well, the P, the PTSO sends stuff out, and that's who I'm able to. They said yes, any Marvin events that we have, not just Marvin Day, but any Marvin events, we can send to them, and they'll put it in the thing because they put the tree lighting and the and the parade. Okay. Um, and the Ele Marmon Elementary is going to do that for us, and the middle school is going to do that for us. And I was just going to send them the flyer along with the website with the stuff that people can, you know, point and click. And do we have a contact at Sandy Ridge? No. Nope. Can you get one and give it to her? I can try. I mean, I yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so the PTOs. P P T PTSO at the middle schools, they're all in, and the Marmon Elementary is all in. Okay, so but, but the PTO. I don't have um, is who I need to contact at, at Sandy Ridge? Yeah. Okay. So when realistically, can, uh, Christine, can we expect the flyer uh, to be... It should be ready soon. It's right? ready now. Is, is it not, Jill? The flyer is ready. The problem is the website is not. So it's been... We, Austin and I are going to bang it out this week and make sure that we've got... Because what we don't want to do is drive people there. to the mm -hmm. website and not tell us it's coming yeah. soon. Or the website is just a copy of the flyer. Because of limited space on the flyer, I I also feel like we need someone's going to have to write some type of copy for the website where people can learn. What do you mean car show? Like what what does that entail? You know what I mean? Like they because if we're going to say click to learn more about all the different events we're having, there needs to be a place where they can click and learn. Oh, Cedar Hills doing what? Pony rides or what? You know what I mean? Right now we don't have that, so we're just trying to like. We're not going to wait until we have all that to throw it up, but that, that is something that's... We're going to have to make the website a little bit more rich with information. Mm -hmm. so, when, whenever I receive the materials, we can put them up. Yeah. So what do y'all need from any of us to get that information? I need the materials. Yeah, so you so why, materials, don't, why don't each of us that has a... Why don't each of us, like I have the, the pony rides and the thing... Derek has the, the 5K. Why don't each of us just write a blurb describing our event? 
you know, uh, yes. in, in the way that we're planning it because okay. we know it best. And, and then if you, if you all could send that directly to Jill, I'd like the message and the feel of the message to be consistent. Correct. And I know yeah, everybody's she, got different writing styles, so if you yeah. can just... So what was the ask there to do? You, you would take like the car show and just oh do a brief God. description of the car show Listen. that so that when people are on the website, they click in, they see a paragraph describing, you know, what, what the car show is going to be. So if you are a manager of an event, and mostly every single person here is, if y'all can write up a quick snip of what your event is, send it to Jill by Friday of this week, that would be awesome. Can you throw out an example? Just two, uh, two yes. sentences. Um, cedar, cedar here, cedar here, whatever. Oh my God. Cedar, 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 cedar Hill Farms will be hosting an equestrian event. There'll be a number of different types of breeds of horses and different disciplines. Perfect. You know, this time come out and you can learn more about it. Blah blah blah. Also, keep in mind we'll have pony rides at the park between twelve and two. I think that's an excellent idea that you connect. Like if they're talking about the and, and then you could link to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So does everybody have their takeaway? Friday, submit a blurb to Jill. Okay. Any other questions, comments on the marketing piece? About what? The marketing piece. And guys, if I can help you in any way on that, I do the, the festival website. I mean, it's a different platform and all, but he's, I'm certain, I know. <laughs> he says, be careful. I could try to help you, like, how you connect things or... Can you email me your festival website? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I just, that's all that uh, we have from a staff level to talk about. I just want to really thank you guys at the PRG level and cancel level for all of your involvement in this. I know it's stressful. Um, I know by the end of... March or May 19th, we're going to be ready to beat our heads over this table, but I do appreciate y'all stepping up and, and helping with this. It's going to be a great event. I think that's definitely going to be evident on May 21st, so I really do appreciate everything y'all are doing. And before we leave, um, just, just so I know, and this is real quick, uh, and I think Bob is going to be getting some people from Kohl's. I am, one of my goals is to get a list with a contact name mm -hmm. and phone number of volunteers from the band, whether it's parents or the kids. <clears throat> we may have more kids than we need to do. So do we have a liaison for the volunteers that I can say, okay, contact this person with your phone number or name and stuff like that. So uh, say it's you, for instance, handling that. And you know you need so workers or I'll be volunteers. the liaison, but they may get, you know, once they give me, they say five, I'm going to send them to the various Yeah, people. but then once you send them, you're sending that contact information. So it's like um, uh, Sarah from the high school is available from this time to this time. We may not need her at the car show, but she may be able to be used at the uh, park. I, I want to take advantage of that and encourage yeah. the band to really participate. And I know Cole, Bob, you're listening, has offered a lot of yeah. volunteers, but they didn't necessarily show up the last time we did something but i just want uh, you know some sort of uh, uh a person we can contact you want to take it derek that's fine um but i want to let them know to have that contact ready uh, so we know who to call when they don't show up so that's all that you have from a staff one correct yeah thank you so we're done from staff all right unless and did we decide who we're sending the volunteer people to Derek, Derek. Derek. Sorry, dude. Okay. And I would say if you if you have volunteer needs, maybe just give Derek and I a heads up. So I think that's that a really good idea. We can start tallying a number and make sure that we're targeting more groups if we don't have enough volunteers. And, and it may be that you need strong backs versus right. plant knowledge or something like that. <laughs> and it's those are two of the things that pop up at our at the other festival. You can move a table, I don't care what you know. Mayor, it's yours. Um, to, to, yeah, to, to end the meeting, all right, I'll, I need a motion to adjourn this meeting. So move at 11.32. Uh, Do I hear right. a motion on the table to adjourn the Village of Marvin Parks, Recreations, and Greenways Board meeting at 11.32 a.m.? So moved. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Who was the second on that? Bob. Yeah,